Oh yes, I've been made uh, affiliate. So some extra features are enabled, and it looks like uh, Crip is my first subscriber. Thank you very much. <laughs> hello Noxus, hello Furious, welcome. Thank you for the subscribe. Uh, I need to figure out how to do emotes and all that. Um, I have some good ideas for some fun emotes that regular viewers will uh, find particularly amusing. Hello Kiwi, welcome. Hello Revolution, welcome, welcome. I am just, where is that? Where's that web page? Hello Sai, hello Azun. Thank you for the subscribe. Uh, I'm seeing you have a limited time to earn exclusive emoticons. I don't know what that means. I'm going to have to figure it out. <laughs> uh, hang on. I'm going to edit this message. また居眠りか。今日の仕事は大方終わっているし。10分くらいは休ませてやろう。Okay. So today we're going to try and finish the uh, the challenge modes. The only one I'm concerned with is sticker number four, challenge mode. Not level forty yet. Although the the rate at which I'm I'm leveling on this account is really quite fast. Thanks to all the free potions they gave us. This space is a disaster. I mean, the layout is just awful. And I can't even rem remember which factories produce what. From the master view. So I, I always have to go in and uh, double check. I'm putting the right workers in the right spots. Thank you, thank you very much, Haru. Glad you like them. Okay. Uh, what's obviously a power plant? Uh, anyone can go here. Yeah, so I, I did the sticker uh, for... I did the sticker for one um, on my alt account. And I tried to find a way to do it without uh, something like Serta. Uh, or Chen. And the only solution I could really find was triple caster. It was Ifrit, some AoE caster, and then some burst single target caster. And that worked, but it's kind of reliant on you already having either Ifrit or a strong AoE caster so that you can borrow the other one. Because the dude's not drowning, 
And there's not much space to put the casters, unfortunately. Uh, if we go to the... If we actually go to the map itself... Doctor, yeah, Wiserta, Wiserta is actually, it's really quite simple because you just plant, uh, hang on, let me actually bring up the map. It's much easier to talk when I've got the, uh, the visual to accompany it. Uh, right. Whoa. Thank you for all the gifted subs, Kripper. Thank you very much. <laughs> it's the, the 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 Twitch chat looks so different from what I'm expecting. <laughs> now, despite being a Twitch streamer now, I don't watch that much Twitch, and I don't know what half these things are. It's this hype train thing. I thought that was just something people would say. I didn't realize there was an actual thing, <laughs> like an actual mechanic of Twitch. But yes, thank you very much. Okay, so with this map, the, the annoying thing when trying to make uh, a strategy that doesn't... Uh, hello, hello, ag, ooh, ooh. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> I'll be adding, uh, hello Colossin, I'll be adding uh, special emotes and stuff soon. I just need to figure out how to do it and make some, some good ones. So the problem with trying to come up with a strategy that doesn't rely on Serta or Chen is there's very little positioning for ranged units. Which is why in the strategy that I managed to find uh, for my alt account that didn't use uh, they didn't use Chen or Serta. Ifrit had to be one of them. Yes, I need to come up with a good pre-amnesia uh, emote. Thank you, Agoa. Thank you very much for the bits. Um, I also need to come up with a stream overlay thing to get the, the bit messages and such up. I need to figure all that out. <laughs> I'll, I'll be honest, the Twitch channel grew much faster than I expected. I haven't even managed to get a proper uh, stream interface up. I think I'm going to just pay someone to uh, quickly put something together for me. <laughs> uh, Magellan? You know, honestly, I think... I think the biggest problem with Magellan is you, you can't put down the drones once the tide is coming in. And then once the enemies have passed the drone area, you can't retreat them and put something else. Although I think you could totally get it to work if you had, say, say you put a bunch of slow drones and you had a, you know, I think someone like Carnelian could, um, could work with Magellan. If you put Carnelian right there, because there is one caster that will kill whoever's standing here, but Carnelian should be able to survive it. If you put Carnelian there, a bunch of slow drones, you kill as many dudes as you can, then you retreat the drones and then put other ranged units down. It could totally work. So the strategy I came up with was uh, AoE caster over here. Just aiming that way. Uh, obviously the stronger the caster the better. But even Jatana with her skill will do a significant amount of damage. And then I put Ifrit over here to burn like that. And then I put a single target caster over here to burn, to cover this lane. What's really annoying about this map is this one spot being blocked over here. If you could put a second AoE caster over here facing down, then it would work much better. But one over here means if you have a single AoE caster over here facing down, they're only hitting the enemies right here and Pretty much every strategy I've managed to get work does not allow the big guys to get more than one or two hits on your back line. But if you have Serta, it's really simple. You just put her right there. You just put your line of dudes there, just two deep, Serta there, and she will kill everything. 
yes, the, the AoE cast I borrowed was, was Dusk and she worked really well. Uh, an alternative, actually, you could do t two AoE casters, one over here facing down, one over here facing up, and then you put Mizuki and Ethan, and ideally if you have Manticore as well, right here, and you just mega stall everything, and they just walk through and die. Thank you for the subscription sign. Uh, you received a level three hype train emote. Uh, okay, I've clicked share. I don't know what that's done. <laughs> W over here, yeah, w, w could work really well. Particularly, I think with W, if you had W over here and you had someone like Manticore, uh, not Manticore, Ethan, and say Mizuki with uh, skill two, like uh, binding everyone and just holding them together, W could then detonate everyone in one go. So you, you could let as many of them group up. The The main difficulty is trying was trying to come up with a strategy that doesn't use lots of five and six stars. And I couldn't find one that was reliable without Serta or Chen. Or at least, and then without Serta or Chen, it, it, everything I came up with always took at least three sort of unique units. You couldn't just substitute everyone with, for a, a low rarity, unfortunately. And the biggest issue for me was just this one goddamn tile over here being blocked. So we'll see how we go with that one, but um, we're going to start with uh, this one. But before we do that, let's do some leveling. Hello, hello, welcome. Um, what was the other thing? Oh yes, and then after we do some of this, we're going to look at uh, we're going to look at the Arknights meets real world uh, submissions. Have a look at some of those and see see what interesting submissions people have come up with for the contest, because some of them look really fun. Uh, so since last stream, Since last stream, the Silver Ash E2 today? No, I don't think I don't think we're going to be able to. Don't have enough XP tickets. Uh, and in fact, yeah, the the biggest thing in the way, so we we do have seventy thousand spare uh, LMD, but we have no no XP, which is really annoying. Yes, I did see the rejected ones on Zero Sanity memes. Doctor, <laughs> I've been uh, intentionally going for potentials on the starters. We should be at uh, almost max potential. Um, Noir Corn and Yato pretty soon. Uh, nothing there. Anything here? No. Yeah, because the starter tag keeps popping up, it's quite easy to get them. Uh, what about Gladia? Gladia was uh, given away a long time ago. This account is not, uh, wasn't around then. That was last limited event, under tights. Right, so we've got a little bit to spend. So the, the main thing I've been doing since last stream was, I don't think Gladia has enough force for the big guys. Does she? Are the guys not as heavy as they look? So 
So I gave, gave some extra levels to Korra, Spot, uh, I think I put a little more into the healers as well. A bit more into Gravel, a bit more into Amia, Silver Ash. So I just did a little bit of leveling. Other than that, nothing, nothing really new to talk about. So let's go and take on the final EX challenge mode. Now with this one, am I confident in doing it first try? So I was thinking about this, about what to do with this one. And I actually want to talk a bit, a bit of strategy on this one as well, for anyone who's, who's struggling. The, the interesting thing about challenge mode restrictions is that sometimes it gives away the strategy on how to beat it. Because if it says all allied units have 50% less max HP and the way you beat it previously means there's no way you're going to be able to do it on challenge because you know your guys were surviving with 5% HP if they have 50% less, then they're definitely going to die. It means your, your strategy wasn't very uh, optimized. And what it's telling you is you need to come up with a way to avoid, A, avoid taking damage. Hello, Akari. Welcome. So you need to find a way to avoid taking damage. And if you have to tank, either you, well, all you need is someone who can survive one hit and then get healed to full, or someone with immortality. So if you have, say, Spectre, Spectre can tank the boss for 15 seconds. And the boss is, is not that hard to kill. If you can hold the boss in place for 15 seconds, you can kill him. Now, unfortunately, this account doesn't have Spectre. But that's a... Uh, that's an, uh, a really straightforward way of doing it. The alternative, obviously, is Serta, because Serta's immortality means that she will guarantee at least 10 seconds of damage, and she will kill him in 10 seconds. That's guaranteed. So Serta is the obvious choice for killing the boss. Then the other issues are the two lanes over here. Now up here, it's really quite simple. You just put someone to hold, and then a healer over here, and you're fine. You can put two units if you need to, so one person to hold, one person to provide extra damage. That that uh, can totally work. I found, in the end, the biggest threat was the left side. Much, much bigger threat than the boss itself. Uh, La Pluma is better early lane hold than mountain skill too. Absolutely not. La Pluma can't tank damage like a uh, mountain can. The the main issue with the, with uh, the left lane is the fact that after the boss is dead, the guys spawn and then move instantly, and they they move at a higher speed. The, the boss, when he dies, you know, he does that big splash animation. When he when he dies, he like explodes in uh, this big splash of water. That's actually giving a buff to all enemies. They move, they move faster and hit harder. Now, on my alt account, the way I figured out how to kill those guys before they did anything was I put Amir here, Pedenko here, and Ifrit down here. And the guy would just get cooked by the time he would reach down here. Hello, Kinsu, welcome. So that's the strategy, but obviously this account doesn't have E for it. The other thing you, you, you have to think of, if you can't kill them before they reach the end, is you just have to be able to block them right here. Ideally right there, that way the guy drowns after you knock him off the boat. And the ideal for that is Calcet, because Monster can tank like it's nobody's business. Or Blaze, because Blaze will guarantee to survive the hit. 
with her passive. So, but if you have Blaze, she's better up over here because she can solo up here with, with just a healer. So I need to try out a couple of things and see if I can get it to work. Now I'm thinking I need to kill the boss ASAP. Hello, Ja, welcome. Hello, Bumblecrypt, welcome. So, I'm gonna borrow Surge just to burn the boss as fast as possible. Top right, I reckon Silver Ash can handle it. The only question is, can he kill the casters fast enough before the next enemy spawns? We'll have to wait and see. If not, then Platinum will have to support. And then for as for tanking the boats, my hope is that Korra can do it. We're doing the last challenge EX, yes. And I'm just speculating on, on how I'm gonna manage to do it. The real concern is just being able to survive the hits. Oh, and something uh, I realized what makes this stage a lot easier than, than it seems. There are, th there are two stall points on the stage where you can stall and let everybody recharge for redeployment. So we're gonna try and take advantage of those today. I just need to remember everything that I, uh, that I speculated after the previous stream. Also, I realized streaming for 15 hours, I think it was 12 hours in, man, my brain turns to mush. <laughs> Try to do some of these. So the stall points are just, the initial, I, I believe it's the, if I remember correctly, it's the initial wave before the boss spawns. I believe you can stall that. And you can also stall the first wave after the boss dies, if I remember correctly. So what we're gonna do, let me test that out real quick. Uh, wait, no, spot, I want you over there. So the boss can't hit you. Oh, I didn't bring gravel. The other thing to be to be conscious of is what the boss's abilities do. So his water cannon targets highest HP on the map. His grenade launcher, highest defense on the map. That's why sometimes, uh, that, that one time Mudrock randomly died up here when I was doing it because she had the highest defense and he just nuked her at the same time and she took the, uh, the big damage from... So you can see, the boss is, nothing's gonna happen until these guys die. Right, so you can do a big stall over here. So you can really prep if you need to. Is Spot gonna live? Yep. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna set up Amiya over there. Denko over there. Uh, right, Silver, uh, hang on. Now, who's gonna take the water cannon to the face? She's got a thousand. I think it's, hang on, let me think. Do I have enough time for Korra to tank it and then retreat and then reappear? I'm not 100% sure. I 
think. 700, 600. Obviously, the casters, there's no way they've got enough. So, Korra is the. Chen is so OP, she has more HP than pretty much everyone else. <laughs> Uh, I could preemptively drop Serta, but I don't... I'm almost certain Serta will trigger her passive. And also, I, th I think you have to be sort of close-ish to the guy. So it's going to have to be like that. Uh, right, am I forgetting anything? Yes, I need to retreat you. Right, here comes the boss. And, uh, Cruz can kill this before it fires the first shot. Cruz, Jessica, skill one. They can both do it. Uh, viewer reviews content. Yes, I do. Absolutely. Right. Cora took the hits. Boss is down. Oh, that spawned much sooner than I was expecting. La Pluma, you're just going to take care of that. Uh, I wonder if I should just leave La Pluma there. Now there's a concern actually about spot. I should not have used spot skill over there. And I need La Pluma. Oh no, and Padenko's got the wrong skill! No! Okay, hang on. I needed... I needed... Um, I needed Padenko's skill too. <laughs> I forgot that I swapped it for another... for another stage. Alright. Okay. But we might have to go super stall. Also, I think if I just put Serta one square forward, she should be okay. I don't think I need to put her so far to the left. That way, uh, that platform is safe where I put down Ansel. Because if I can deploy Ansel there and not have to retreat him, that will help later to tank the, the boat, the, the boats. Okay, everybody else on the right skill? Silver Ash skill 2. Um, do I want Silver Ash or skill 1 for faster kill? Or more tank? We'll, we'll go for faster kill, and we'll see if I need to switch it to more tank. Depends on how he, how he does with the casters. Right, everybody else is good. Okay. Well, the, the main concern, the, main, the reason why I didn't put uh, Serta in the middle was over her taking uh, hits while he was uh, invulnerable. But it should be okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
ました敵を死にした敵を死に火力で一気に制圧する Now last time Spot only just survives. I'm really concerned that's not going to work every time. Heal, heal. Oh my god. <laughs> Hello Tio, welcome, welcome. Uh, can't Chen's skill reach the La Pluma kite? Uh, actually, I should have retreated her ages ago. Um, no, it's one square too far. Yeah, Spot literally survives from a sneeze away from death. Uh, next account, we're going to try Silver Ash E2. I keep trying to do it, and then I'm always forced to put resources into other units because they just die too too quickly. In, uh, but yes, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try finish the the challenges. We might not be able to do sticker four challenge today. Um, but yes, Silver Ash E2. Silver Ash E2 will greatly help with that stage. Actually, Silver Ash is at skill seven now because we unlocked the second tier of the green certificate store, and I managed to buy the sugar that he needs. And there was also a couple of uh, of the tier two sugars in the. Um, uh, can I deploy certain now? No, Korra has to go first to tank the boss's attacks. And then Platinum will go up over here. And actually, I'll put Platinum now. That way Spot takes less damage. Because I don't need a stall any longer. Yes, he spawns the kite. Now, I swear it's it's weird how fast he spawns the kite. That one, I swear he doesn't spawn it that that fast normally. Yeah, see, this is what I'm kind of concerned with, but it should be okay. All right. Yes, Silver Ash is taking a bit of a beating up there. Right, we need Korra back, so I can put her over here. Uh, platinum. We'll help over there. Oh my god. Yeah, I, I think Silver Ash needs skill too. The problem is with skill too, he won't kill the cast. The, the cast will take even longer to die. Uh, I don't think I can afford to do the extra damage from her. All right, we're still good. So this is the this is the second stall point right here. You see, the boat guys aren't spawning yet, so you can you can take it like real slow. But yes, I think Silver Ash is going to be the weak link. However, we might be okay now. 
the pathing of these guys is down like that, I think. I think if I just deploy Chen, Serta can burn the dude there. Actually, Chen right there would be perfect. Yeah, next time if I stall it, what I'll do is I'll replace Bedenka with Chen, and then she can just put her line of fire right there. The guy will die before he gets through. And then Serta can take care of the, the caster. I'm concerned about Chen and her skill being up in time. Uh, the Pluma York was a problem. Ah, uh, bit too. The cast is a bit too rough. Okay, I think. I think uh, Silver Ash skill two should be okay. The other thing I could do is I could just provide. Hmm. Hmm. I have an idea. I have an idea. We're going to swap out Siege for Coco. Yes. 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 This should work. This should work. And we're going to give Silver Ash skill 2. No, this account does not have Suzerai. Even if we had her, she wouldn't be very high level. Oh, this account, this, I'm borrowing Serta. Although it had Serta as well, but Serta's level one. Uh, I got it from the passenger bagpipe banner. Oh, Suzerai to heal Chen. Yeah, but the thing is, two casters is what I want. Chen can't handle that. The, the caster needs to die beforehand. But I have a plan. The only concerning part of the plan is what to do with this leaker over here. Actually, since I can stall pretty much inf infinitely, let me just get Cruz to help kill a guy. Uh, it's not killing fast enough. I need to get... No. Okay. I need to put down Cruz sooner. Hang on. So with one less one less melee, I can't let that guy leak, but I can retreat Cruz and then she'll be back up on time for my new brilliant plan. I've got it. I've got it. It's, it's coming together. There's a lot of moving parts on this stage. Yes. I've got bagpipe and Serta in about 40 pulls on the bagpipe banner. Uh, whoops, wrong spot. Doctor, 
ターの言う通りにするよ分かりましたOkay. All right, everything is good to go. Damn, I put I put Soda down too early. Hang on, hang on. Uh Cora is gonna die. That's fine. Okay. Yes, I should have retreated Chen sooner, but I think we're still fine. I think there are three casters that come from the right, which means two burst heals will save me from them. All right, come on, finish off the caster. Any day now. Right. Okay. Coco to the rescue on the right lane. All right, Cora, set you up over here. Now we just need these cooldowns to come back. Too early, for my tastes. I would have liked him to spawn one second later. But it's okay. We're going to go into full survivability. Ah, oh, still a problem up there. That's annoying. I should have activated. I should have paid more attention. Activated um, the skill. Ow! Ow! 
Right. From here. What's my best option of dealing with this guy? I think we're just going to have to tank him in the face over here. And it's the last guy. Oh wait, no, we're the wrong spot. I thought it was gonna come here. No. Is anybody gonna spawn in time? No. Right, but well we can do it. For, this is practice. We can do it for real and get it done. Okay. If I just activate. Um... Yeah, Sirash was on on defense mode. Uh... The problem is minus fifty percent max HP. It's probably the timing of that plus one of the spearmen at the same time. But I think if I had the burst healing, it uh, it could have saved him in that split second. That's the uh, the great thing about Susura. All right, we've got this. So hopefully, anybody who's struggling with this, remember those those two store points. All right, so set up the Pluma. Aerial Coco support. You know, I'm actually thinking we don't need to put Pedenko down over here. Because Amya kills the first dude fast enough. Although... Pedenko does help with the second guy. But I think if, if I retreat Chen correctly this time, then... Uh, what's it called? If I retreat Chen correctly, then she should be up in time to assist. Uh, I did too much damage at the start. And I couldn't get spot skill up quite fast enough. But it should still be okay. Pedenko does also help with this thing. Okay, okay. Right. Part one done. Just to make sure I don't make any mistakes, what's going to happen next? S right side, Silver Ash Coco, take care of that. Left side, spot stall until Chen redeploys and Korra redeploys. Keep an eye on Silver Ash for the burst heal. 
Now, he didn't need the burst heal on this caster. Right, most important thing, Chen skill, Susuro keep Silver Axe alive. Retreat Myrtle if there's going to be a leak over here. Which I think there will be. Yep. Okay. Once Chen has a skill up, then there will be no leaks because she will mask her. Actually, before I activate Chen's skill, do we need to stall a little bit further? Will another guy spawn up over here? Yes, actually. If we can intentionally wait this out. It's this guy plus the... It's when there's the two of them together. That's the danger zone. Right, we've got five enemies. One, two, three. There's another caster, I believe. And another spearman. I know. It's a... Yeah, two casters at once. That's what killed them last time. Just in case. And there we go! Mission accomplished. Ah, uh, done! Oh, done! <laughs> so, this account is what, nine days old? All EX challenge stage is done. Ah! Oh. <laughs> That was so intense. Sorry, I wasn't reading chat at all during that. I, kn I knew I needed to focus. Now the sticker stages, we've got to do the challenge mode for them as well. Oh God. Risk 18. You know what? Next, um, not the next CC, but the one after that, I will do a uh, two week old account beating Risk 18 for that. Probably even less than two weeks. And I reckon I could do it. Or CC seven, I think. And I will also have a guide on how to beat it. Yeah, Pine Suit. And the reason why I'm pretty confident is because I managed to do it on my Chinese account. Okay, that's one thing done. Uh, they're all done. All right, sticker stages.
Okay, so... This one, it's all about... Now, Silver Ash, in the normal version, Silver Ash can win this pretty well. But I wonder if he can do it. I don't... I don't know if he can kill them fast enough in the challenge mode. Okay. Because if, Sil if Silver Ash works on this one, it's much easier than, um, what's her name? Uh, Serta. Because the, the, the block reduction. We'll do one practice mode. We'll have to get rid of my Silver Ash. And I'll borrow him. Uh, actually, do I even have... Oh, hang on, there was Silver Ash right there. I refreshed. <laughs> uh, okay. Okay, uh, do, 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 do. do I need to change anything else? Uh, minus one block, so gravel's not going to do anything. Do I want to bring Noir Corn? Uh, actually, who's going to tank the left side? Previously, it was Silver Ash tanking there with skill two. I think... Maybe Korra with a healer? No resistance. Spot with a healer plus a Coco for damage. All right, let's give it a shot. <laughs> if I can beat everything in two hours. Oh man, okay, well then I need to play faster. <laughs> okay. Now, beating all of them is, is unlikely, I reckon. But all but four is a good shot of it. I think the final one, I might just need some more... Um, some more uh, levels in a couple of units. Silver Ash over here, or... Hang on, okay. I need to think for one second. Silver Ash, he will tank the dude as soon as he dismounts, right? I think he might get stopped. Let's go for it anyway. Uh. Okay. Yeah, Suresh is doing not enough damage. Oh, so I forgot to check the stickers. Yeah, look at that. There's way too much... Um, I don't, I don't think I have the melee attack up stickers. In fact, I don't even think I had the right stickers for for the previous stage. <laughs> Let's have a look. There should really be what I would, I would like for this um, this event. Before you go into a stage, it should come up with. After you confirm characters, then confirm stickers. Now I've got the ranged attack one. Is this the melee? No. Where is it? Uh, no, it's this one. Okay, melee increased attack. Ranged has no erosion. No, I need the melee has no erosion. And then no erosion reduction. Extra def 
defense. I shouldn't need the defense boost. Like that much of the defense boost. I think I can take the attack one instead. And this should do it. If, we, if we're doing the Silver Ash strategy, I think we have to use this one. I want to add a timeout redeem. I don't know what that... I don't know what that is. <laughs> I'm not that familiar with Twitch. Despite streaming. Yeah, this guy dies much faster now as well. Also, I wonder if just Pedenko can slow this guy enough. We'll try that out. Oh, I'm still not confident about Silver Ash killing here. No, this guy's still moving too much. Oh my God. <laughs> Look at that. I can't. And hang on, the, the the tide receipts. I need, I need to remember that. Okay. Solo Silver Ash. Totally worked. No, to prevent... Okay. Actually, I don't think she needs it. Uh, and now let's put... I'm gonna poke her there for now. Please. Should also set up Chen. When's the tide coming back? Give me water. I think I'm just gonna have to stall with Silver Ash. Okay. Yeah, I need to put Chen out sooner. Once once Chen's there, you don't need to worry at all about the big dudes. But it's it's totally gonna work. Right, this time we're going with sanity. No holding back. Actually the sanity penalty on this one is not that massive. Alright. Uh do I need to swap anyone out? And act and uh Pedenko's on the right skill, that's good. I think... Uh, 
Do I want to swap out one of the range for Noir Corn? I think I might actually swap out La Pluma for... Yeah. Oh no, she's got more defense than him. <laughs> nope, alright, that's fine. Yeah, changing the stickers made all the difference because it meant there was no leak at the start. I'm just debating, do I want to put him over here? The Pluma will die if I put her there now. But I might not need her in future anyway. I'm just thinking of the damn casters. Because last time the casters bombed all the way to here. Still died. And so did she this time. And this guy lives with one, one health? That's annoying. I need to set up Chen first. Chen, give me that gun. Ah, and it's just a reverse heal. Got to do that. Focusing too much on one side. He's not going to leak, is he? Oh my god. I don't understand how Silver Ash did not kill the guys that time. I think I, I think I just need to go Chen much, much sooner. Because if I can get Chen up without that time when I put, had to put spot, that was the the biggest the biggest waste. Ideally, at that point, I shouldn't need to put anyone up here.
Also, Chen here would be a better option. Can I just put Podenko somewhere else? She doesn't have as good of a reach anywhere else. I think she'll just do this. I am so concerned though that there will be a leak now. Come on, release me. All right, now this time we don't forget to heal Cora. Spot over... The next threat is the caster over here. If I put Spot over here, he could keep Amia alive. And I may be able to replace Pedenko. Spot just gonna die anyway. Oh, no. I shouldn't have put him so soon. This doesn't work because the caster hits both of them and then and then they both die. But you know what I could just do? I think we're just gonna prep Silver Ash for this. I just wanna kill this. I think we don't need Fidenko anymore. And you know what, we'll even get rid of Amiya and we'll just put a healer. Oh my god. Still pops instantly. What a pain. Silrash's positioning is terrible. Yeah. Oh my god, this is awful. This is just the worst. The, everyone's positioning was so bad. Alright. Really need a change in formation. Um, might even need to drop. The annoying thing is Korra being over there. I'd prefer it if she was on the far end. That way everybody isn't grouped up. That's the bit I really hate. Okay. But it's working, sort of, one day. Yeah, 
I'm going to just use Sil Rush to kill them ASAP. Okay, okay, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Also, I think if I put Pedenko over here instead, leaving that free for someone else at the start. I think I activated Sil Rash's skill too late. They're about to get bulldozed. Ow. 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 Drown. No. Yeah, activated skill too late. Yeah, I was thinking too much about the timing of uh, Korra on the left. You know what I need to do? I need to pause spam more. <laughs> I just can't be bothered using the keyboard as well. How did this... How does he have even more health than before? Oh my god. The guy had more health than last time and we activated it sooner. It makes no sense. Now, I dropped in Armia just to to finish the guy off when I activated Silverash late, but that time he had more HP before I put in Armia last time. We might have to do an Armia drop and then retreat just for a couple of ticks of, of damage. I'm going to do that. So Narika Kangai Nari Narika Kangai Nari 
わかりましたなんてやの愛我が意向に書き消されたり私の武器は誰にでも扱えるわけではないみんなこっち来ていいよ真っ二つにしちゃうからドクターの言う通りにするよ了解しましたどこに行けばアレルギーに気をつけてねアレルギーに気をつけてねアレルギーに気をつけてねはい、hang on, we're gonna have to block this douchebag.、Um, do we just put spot for now and then swap it out for core over there? I think so. Right, so we're actually going to kill this guy. Now we just have to deal with the caster over there. I think this guy's so tanky, just die already. I think the best option we have. We have well, we have two options. We put Ansel down to heal. Maybe we retreat Padenko. And Mert、uh, no, Myrtle and Coco put Cora I'm pretty sure these guys go. Hang on. Do these guys go. Actually, it doesn't matter because Chen will kill them as soon as they're. Ah,、uh, crap. I forgot about over there. I should have also put Ansel somewhere else. This should be okay. Ow. No. 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 Oh my god. No. Yeah, two clumped up together. Now I have nothing to block this guy. Okay. Let me think. I think I just put Ansel in the wrong spot. Because they were both taking hits. If only one of them was taking. 
The reason I didn't put him next to Spot is because he'd be taking hits as, as well as Spot. But I think I was overly concerned about that. Yeah, I know the casters have lower resistance, but I don't, I can't spare anyone because I have to do the extra damage to the first guy. To this guy over here. Also, I think I figured out what's causing some units to live. It's because Silver Ash only does damage to five enemies. But sometimes there are six enemies in range. Yeah, the guy still... I can't block over here and kill that guy at the same time. Not without a stronger Silver Ash. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? Ah, uh, he hit six. Okay. Is there... So the one we were using was level 50. There's a level 69 one on the friends list. That Doctor, might be enough to make the difference. Quite enough. Oh no, there we go. Just enough. Okay. No, Chen won't reach from here. Jimmy, 
リンゴちゃん今日もよろしくねおちらちゃんそいつらを逃がすだ OK We're back to here Silver Ash is going to redeploy over here and he's going to take out these two I don't need to waste Kirk over here So if we put Ansel over here he should be able to keep Chen alive I don't want to put Ansel in range of the caster because I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure the caster will kill him when the、uh, the corrosion is at maximum. The Denka is going to have to retreat soon. I was kind of hoping she'd target this guy instead of the rando. Hang on, Silver Ash is gonna die. <sighs> Even with the burst heal up, still dead. I mean, just. Come on. Alright, Amiya, distract the dude. Just live. We're not dead. Now we have to deal with this guy. Alright. And Chen's out of everything. What do we got? We kind of have nothing left. Choice but to do this. If there's another cast from over there, it's basically over. God, the stun, no. Wake up, Siege, for one second. No, this, there's no way Silver Ash is going to live long enough. I have to retreat this. Oh, I should have activated. I forgot Ansel's got longer range on his skill. No! No! Ah! Ansel could have saved Sora. Hello, Siaki. Welcome. I keep forgetting Ansel has longer range on his skill. No! Right, we got this. I said that about five tries ago. <laughs> Should have switched to the high level Silver Ash a long time ago as well.
行動を開始しますドクターここっていい景色だねおっしゃれなのリンゴちゃん今日もよろしくね生き様の精神は私が決めるリンクダッシュリンクダッシュリンクダッシュリンクダッシュリンクダッシュリンクダッシュリンクダッシュリンクダッシュリンクダッシュリンクダッシュリンクダドンドクター私はここにはいここは私に任せろわリンゴちゃん今日もよろしくね医者ならここにここだよこれがいいだろうゲーゲン回避So, Ansel still died even over here last time. The only thing I can think of to save Ansel is I can still put him over here. If I put someone over here. No, what needs to happen actually is I need to swap, take out Pedenko and put Coco, but Pedenko is so much more useful over there. I thought it was the big guy, I activated her skill too soon. Actually, Coco also acts as the, the distraction up here. All right. Yeah, I think what I need to do is I've got to put Ansel down and swap Pedenko for Amia. That way, Amia gets targeted. Come on, Silrash, attack! Oh shit! Uh... It's okay, he's one hit from death. Oh, 
Oh, oh God, he's stunned instantly. Christ. No. Uh, that stun is so annoying. Every time he has it right away. Uh, is there any way I can set up Silver Ash ahead of time for that? I don't know, it felt like he, I put him up as soon as it was possible. Okay. And Chen. Yeah. Hang on, it's a quick maths. Uh, Why did you Oh no, I forgot. Ansel after. Uh. No, hang on, that doesn't make any sense. Why didn't you target Amia? Amia was put afterwards. I 
I think we're screwed. Because we have no healer. The... I, I did do it right. The... Ansel went before Amia. No? Or did I, did I screw that up? Yeah, there's no point. I think I... I'm sure I did it in the right order. I must have put them in the wrong order. It would have been fine if it was just done in the right order. Silrash, the main thing I put ants. Ah, ah, that's the mistake. Uh, Silver Ash, is, his main thing is not killing this guy, it's killing this one over here before this guy gets in, because you just can't have two of them at once. Any damage he does to this one is just speeds it up at the end. Also, I'm not using the device, so I should get a different sticker. The increased DP one would actually help. Come on. Spam. あ、本気で行くよ。あいつらを通さなければならないのに。思ってたより私の武器は誰にも扱えるわけではない。お。お。医者ならここに。みんな、こっち来て。準備ができたか。このまま行こう。了解しました。迎撃開始。敵を視認した。Yeah, I can maybe save Platinum as life. I just face him that way. But the thing is, he takes a shot, one shot sooner. Still okay, but Platinum's alive. Which means...
No, she still dies, but the others didn't get targeted. Come on. Okay, we're alive. We're alive, people. Silver Ash is about to come up. What can we do with that? I think we Silver Ash there, facing that way, and then Cora has to block this guy for a little bit. Oh my god, it's popped. Oh, there's the instant stun as well. I should perhaps put Silver Ash in the way. Yeah. <sighs> Again. Oh, that body stun. What we need is we need one more ground unit. Just to hold him in place for two seconds. Ugh. Thanks, Gilrecht. All right. Come on. Mastery on Chen would also really, really help. Thanks for the sub, Alex. Okay. Alright. 
Please tell me that guy's gonna die. Did I activate Chin's skill too late? I did. Uh, no. Uh, I'm losing concentration. We'll try with uh, nine, eight, nine days ago. No, I can keep going. Eight days, I think. No, nine days. Uh, next reset. Or a few hours after next reset. You get the next stage. We got E2 Chen, what, day four? Not going correct. This is not good. I am amazed that Platinum dies in one shot from the, uh, the corrosion. Okay, uh, now that we no longer have Coco, how do we deal with that caster over there? Do we just have to wait for Ch uh, for Silver Ash to come back up again? I don't want this guy to live that long.
That's just hell. Hell on earth. I mean, I suppose we could put down Pedenko, but we sort of want Pedenko for this. There's two casters now, actually. Oh, God. Seventeen seconds. Okay, this is critical. Where to put Silver Ash? <clears throat> Either over here. Over here, he can hit that guy. See, over here, he can hit this guy and this guy. But then this guy will leak. Almost certainly. See, he's got the... Um... Oh, she's facing the... She doesn't have the... Uh, instant stun. Uh, yeah, Silver Ash should have been in the way. The annoying thing was that having to stall that swimmer, the, uh, the, the last caster. How can I kill the other dude faster? You know, I think Platinum's just going to have to... Vodenko saved seconds at the start. Either way, it wouldn't have made a difference. Cancel Chen skill early. That's an option. The device is not wouldn't save platinum. The device is for the water. Thanks, Gremlin. Welcome. Some extra levels might be an option. Hang on, I just... Thought of something. I can give it a shot. Why not? I think I've got it. I mean, I've said that every time, but this time I think I've got it. Oh, 
Putting Susuru over there was literally all I needed to do. Okay, we've got one more caster over here. This big guy, this guy, and then two more enemies. One. Is it another small dude? All right, it is. Myrtle can't block, so we're gonna get rid of her. Chen's not gonna get her skill back in time. And at this point, we could even Treat somebody. Uh, siege. Turn around for Cora. Come on. He's going to stun her right away. It's all good. Finally! Literally, Susuro just needed to go there. I don't know. I got, I got so tunnel visioned. I didn't think, move one guy. 
<laughs> now, I was holding the Padenko skill just in case he started to leak. Because that would slow him down long enough to get someone back up. First try. First try. Okay. All right, this one. Oh, my God. Okay. Ah, that was exhausting. Um, all right, what's the strategy with this one? All right, we're going to borrow a Serta. We need lots of block. Gravel. Silver Ash, skill 2 would be amazing. Uh, E2, sorry, but fortunately he isn't. We're going to borrow Serta. Sai, thank you for the Serta. No, no Lapland, unfortunately. All right, we've got the two healers. Hang on, let me, let me think. So the formation is core at the front, spot behind. Cora, spot. La Puma, siege. Oh yeah, the stickers. Don't forget the stickers, okay. need the extra DP one, I think. Let me think, is that right? I'm going to put bubble on the two blocking the exit. Then one on the healer to keep everyone alive. My biggest worry is tanking the impact. I think I might need to bring Silver Ash. Because I have a feeling Siege might die. Alright, let's try this. See how it goes. Yeah. に肩をつけるみんなこっち来てどけこれでいいよ悪くない場所私の武器は誰にでも扱えるわけではない Do I put Silver Ash now? Uh, Noircorn and Lapuma are going to take care of the boats at the end. Almost forgot. Ah, uh, spot. Lip. <laughs> now, this is what I'm worried about is siege right here. It should be okay. No, it's not okay. <laughs> 
存在を自らに。Oh my god. Ah,、oh, crap. n o w this is over. Spot just popped.、Uh, if Spot dies there, I don't see how I can tank the second wave. Because the second wave is two defenders, they block one each until Serta respawns. That's painful. And I can't put any more levels into him.、Um, I think it. I think I just have to swap. Let's see if I can do it without the,、uh, the need for.、Um, Where is it? No, that one. No, Spot's not getting healed by Ansel. And if I put Silver Ash at the front instead of Siege, he should be okay with his skill. I'm just going to. Swap some positioning around. Yes, Sai, it's your Serta. <laughs> Super effective. Uh, actually, I'd like to put down Silver Ash first. That way, Serta takes a couple of shots from the.、Um, from the crossbowmen. Oh, we got the bubbles again. Hopefully, Spot didn't need that heal. I might actually be able to protect Ansel as well. No, still. <sighs> Guy dies in one hit. Shosha Gaimas, but I'm more Hanso Sagio in Heidi Masnode. Engo, Negashimas. If he can't live, I honestly don't see how it's possible. But. Let me try changing Ansel's position. Normally, Ansel is there because he gets killed by the crossbow. But because of the deployment order, I may be able to save that loser's life. Okay,、uh, I can't put any more levels into anyone that's going to make a difference. Yeah, I'm using, I'm using both plus 40, plus 200. I've literally got all the ground stickers. I have absolutely everything possible. Now, the problem is after Serta retreats, 
need to put a defender where she is, and that's where Korra should go. Ideally. So the order is going to be Ansel, Silver Ash, Serta. Now, theoretically, Ansel should not take a single hit. They should go for Silver. Nope, they're still going for Ansel, even though he was put down first. Right, spot. Live. Yes! The champion healed himself between the shots. What a boss. Alright, now you just gotta survive this one. No! No! Ah, oh, crap. And Surge is not hitting it. Why did he get pushed down instead of back up? Ah. Oh. Christ. Uh, no, there's nothing I can do about that. Okay. What we're going to have to do, we're going to have to put Cora there and just pray that what happened with Spot right there happens with him on the second wave. So he survives the first impact on the second wave. That's all we need. Just needs Spot to live. I need another tank. A non-medic defender. I think even Beagle would work. But I don't have the resources to level her. Okay. Ansel didn't die, so that was good. Uh, Gravel, forgot about you. So. Oh, 
Uh, I think I've already got Gummy. Got her just before Bagpipe. I really wish Cicero's skill was up. No. Our only other hope. Is Chen. But Chen doesn't have the bubble to attack faster. If we, had, if we had a defender to drop right now, we'd be fine. Okay, I think what we need... I think if, if Susuro had, had her skill up, it would have been fine. Because Susuro's burst heal is fast enough to hit between the impact and the attack. But it was like a couple of seconds off. And I wasted time. Yes, you're right. Let's replace Amiya with Hoshiguma. And Hoshiguma can tank the boats. And Noir Corn. Uh, 321. He can take a hit for two seconds. Level 1 Hoshiguma. Here we go. We use there on the normal, uh, normal version of the stage to block the boats as well. Uh, let me think for one second. Chen... If Chen had the bubble, would that have made the difference? Instead of Susuro. Could Chen have stalled the guy long enough with her slow? I don't think so. No, if a, if a guy on foot can get... Almost get through Chen's attack, a guy on a boat can definitely cat. No, so we're gonna... We're gonna stick to the plan. Okay. 
Uh, and so first, so rush, and then set it. Oh crap, I put the bubble in the wrong spot. That's okay. Chin over there. Be fine. It's really just about surviving the um, the impact. Got to get Susuru down as soon as the boat explodes. One last heal, Ansel. Ah, uh, forgot to put call. Ah, uh, no, no, forgot to put. Ah, uh, crap. Forgot to. I was so focused on this, I forgot to put a defender right there. Well, we'll see if, if Spot survives. Uh, I don't think he will. Susuro's skill is still... Oh my god. Oh my god. Come on. No. Still a second too slow. Let's see if... I just, uh, I just want to test if Noir Corn can survive. Does the tide recede? Yeah, he does. Okay. Okay. All right. This seems doable. Noir Corn survived that second one. Also, Susuro. What do you need to level up your skill? If we can get one skill point into this. We don't have anything. Hang on. Uh... Forty-one. No, I don't need the sticker to put defenders in tides. Oh wait, hang on. That's in the base first. I've got to make one more.
Uh, almost zero, Nico. Um, okay. But it is very common over here, yeah. Plan is solid. It just needs to drop. Honestly, if I had dropped uh, Hoshiguma that time, it would have been fine. ダメにも ない場所だ。何か何時らがこっちとしぶい。何人も語りするのと叶わ。指示を<笑> I think I actually answered this skill a bit too early. Oh crap. Spot stunned at the worst time. No. The Pluma should have survived that. I also didn't actually change skill. Forgot to activate Chen. Uh... 
Spot stun meant that he he cast his heal on himself, and it, his his attack was on recharge before, so he couldn't heal himself right between. That was really dumb. Uh, I feel like it's doable, but the timing is so damn tight. Just need a little bit of luck in the timing of a uh, of attacks and animations. needs to survive the first round. We also had we also had leaks from the boats, which I didn't like. And I swear, La Pluma was fine before. I think, do I let a couple of boats in first for Hoshiguma to block? And then La Pluma takes yeah, I think Hoshiguma needs to block the first three. Now the boats all block at the same time. So it won't make a difference. Oh damn, I forgot to put gravel. Ah, yeah, forgot to put gravel. Forgot to put gravel and screwed it up. You know what? You know what else I could do? I don't know. Does Siege do anything at the end?
Uh, actually, no, it's fine. I can retreat if I need to. Right, first medal. Then siege, then Korra. Oh. Siege. Korra. Nice. Next. Silver, uh, no, Ansel, Silver Ash. Gravel first. Okay, come on. Alright. Next thing I need to be concerned about is stalling the big guy. Okay. Actually, I might even stall him over here, just so I don't have to remember later. This guy. Ah, uh, wait, hang on. I can't let three boats through first for Hoshi. Oh, wait, no, hang on. If I just put Hoshigum over here instead. And then the Puma. Over there. Oh god, don't tell me that guy's gonna... Thank Christ. Right, I can't do it. Like, even with that, it's still just... I, I hate the inconsistency of it. Also, I remembered why I put the plume at the front. It's because she kills one boat before it can leak. Come on. Susuru is going to die to the explosion. Oh, 
Oh my god, everything's just getting one shot. Uh, oh, uh, so close. I think if I had not hesitated and put Myrtle right away, he, she would have pushed the guy back towards Chen rather than towards the exit. Right, we got this, we got this. And I think if I just put La Pluma back to the front again, it should be okay. I wish I could have one more device. One more device for Chen would make all the difference. Oh god, this is disgusting. Ah, no. Ah, didn't retreat soon enough. Oh god, we're in trouble. I should have just not done the gravel. Spot lives! Spot lives! Oh my god! <laughs> now he gets squashed! Ah! So spot living is worse?
No! Him living makes it worse! Oh my god! How's that possible? Him living makes it worse! That can't be! Because if he blocks... Then when he dies from getting run over... Cora has to block two of them. Oh my god. That is... That is the worst. So you telling me the best strategy is to not even put someone down? No. Surely that can't be the play. Actually, you're right, maybe the, the Chen slow is all I needed. I forgot to activate it. The thing is, we have we have Noir Corn okay. to drop in, to drop in right over there afterwards. We've got to put these two there. Dude, just drop dead, please. Thank you. Yeah. 
Why did he heal him? He was... God's sake. Spot, you are so annoying. Your animations are so goddamn inconsistent. Come on. Come on. I think also I might want to retreat siege sooner in future. Should have activated Serta faster. It's a mistake. No. Are we still okay? We did it! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! It's done! <laughs> Oh God, playing with a team that has like no no options to swap out people is so difficult. All right. Even with Spot dying. Okay. All right, this one. Okay. Um Chen over there, she's gonna blast in an AoE. We need Thorns over there to hold that line. Lots of defenders, I don't know. I don't know if I have enough to hold the middle. Okay, um... I think I might need Yato. Right, so who's going to be holding the middle? One, two, three, four, five. And the fast redeploys block the boats. Theoretically, it's possible, but I have zero confidence in this one. Clear the prediction first. Uh, how do I do that? Go into mod view. Uh, on the bottom of chat, there is a gear. Yep, I see it. I don't see a sword. Ah. It's already done? Okay. Right, we're going to go with this team. We're going to go with this team and we're just going to see how we hold. The problem with this map is the big guys. And there's just too many of them for Chen by herself to take it. If I had Chen and Silverash E2, I could alternate and I would be fine. But I think it's going to be a real struggle. Oh, and I forgot to change the um, stickers. Hello, Amano. Welcome. Oh. Right, 
Right, uh, where am I going to position the healers? That's another problem. Everybody dies. The only hope is that Susuro doesn't get one shot from the explosion. No, I'm not out of practice tickets. We're saving them for the final one. Although we might need to use some on this one, because I don't, I don't think the final one is is at all possible with this team. Uh, who do I want to put down first? We'll go spot for that corner over there. Oh, and actually, that's, that's another problem. The deployment order means that they're all going to get bombed in the middle. Shit. I can't even deploy any more people. Okay. Yeah, this deployment order sucks. Alright. So what I need is another two over here. I need to deactivate Chin's skill. Yeah, I'm going to change the stickers, for one. Also, I would like it if I didn't have to waste my borrow on the left side. Alright, this does nothing. This does nothing, this does nothing. More DP. I think that's the... Do you want increased... Yeah, that's a good point. Silver Ash is with his heel. <laughs> um, in 15 minutes? Is that what it's asking? Oh, 15 tries. <laughs> oh, man. What? 
if I can beat it, 15 tries seems reasonable. It's about whether there's a, a possibility at all. Do I want to swap the ground attack for the Chen attack? I think I do. Let's try this. And this will also give me more healing. Alright, so if we can do two other people on the side, who's the best for the middle? Thorns, right? It would still be Thorns, yeah? Thorns is always the best. Yeah. If I don't have to don't have to put Thorns on left side, then this will make a huge difference. Absolutely huge difference. Also, ideally, I would like to put Susuro down last at the end over here. Actually, even... My formation is... Ideally, if my formation is like that, Susuro should be over there. But then there's the, the Spearman at the end. Uh, that's the worst. You can use Chen for the water adds to help. Oh, to prevent the casters from coming in. I don't think it's going to do as much as killing the big guys. You know, the problem with Ansel over here, he dies once the casters do enough damage. Once the, uh, the caster explosion goes off, Ansel's dead. Although maybe not with the 200 ticket. What if we put... What if we put Chen over here? That way she blasts... These guys as they come along. Or even, or even like that. Over there. So she faces this way. She hits like this. And she kills the guys as they pass here. My only concern then is the, uh, the spear guys later. That doesn't seem like the worst idea. We will give it a shot. Uh, yes, thorns first. Okay. So. I'm still really uncertain about this this formation, this the, the deployment order.
Tora over here. Then Chen over there. Chen first. Because if I put Korra first, uh, second, the casters will attack over there. But Chen will get hit by the spear gunners. But I can always drop gravel to distract the spear gunners. I can drop her there. So yeah, let's do that. Now obviously the concern right here Is what am I going to do with all this? I'm going to have a leak back here. Yeah, I can't get enough. Nah. Uh, I shouldn't have put... I don't know what... I wonder if I should just forget Siege. And just put Thorns straight away. Just to get his skill built up faster. Because if Thorns is built up, he can clear all the small dudes. No worries. And do I want to bring one of these ranged units? No. Leaks are the biggest problem. Ideally, I'd like to have thorns over there, not there. Uh, I can't activate middle skill. The middle's gonna die. No, there's no J on this account. What you see is basically what you get. There's this, plus a couple of snipers and Amiya. Uh, how long is the stream going to go? I don't know. I do want to get uh, looking at the Arknight's X Real World submissions. Uh, I've been streaming for 3 hours and 20 minutes. That first dog that spawns, does he go bottom row or top row at the end? I need to know where I can put Myrtle. I guess top row, okay. Okay. First bit survived. Next, I would like to build up Chen right away. I'm going to have to drop Spot over here. I'm 
Alright, now I need to get a healer out ASAP. ロケ。私はあなたの影。敵を死にした。そいつらを逃がすな。敵を死にした。I wish there were stall points on this map. <laughs> Alright, this is where things get a- Whoa! This is where things get hairy. I think, I think we're just gonna have to have, we're just gonna have to have Chen deal with the casters. They just wreck havoc. Yeah, I think that was attempt number five. Okay, I think this, that was five attempts so far. No, I don't have anything else than what you see. All right, uh, okay. Um, Actually, the uh, daily reset is going to give me back the practice. Okay. Right. Because if I don't have to deal with the, ca uh, the casters, then I can have two melee. And they will just swap the, the stuns back and forth. Oh god. Please, no bubble. We got her from the bagpipe banner, unfortunately. Oh, we tried that. What we we're trying to do is get Chen to also kill the casters. Ah, what am I doing? <laughs> I was I was reading chat, I wasn't paying attention, I literally just <laughs> activated Myrtle. Muscle memory. Uh too funny. Alright. <sighs> Do 
All right, we'll try Chen back. We'll put Chen back down here again, and we'll see if we can just get a better formation to deal with all the casters. I'm also wondering if I should... I'm not paying attention! I'm not paying anywhere near enough attention. My concentration is really waning. Um, what was I going to say? I was wondering if I should bring a ranged unit to attack the casters, but I don't feel like it's going to make any difference. Because you can't kill, you can't kill the faster uh, the the casters before they um. You can't kill the casters before they leave. So. All right, we'll do one more try, or we'll we'll do tries until reset, and then we'll do the reset stuff for a bit of a break. Oh. Also, why did I put gravel there? It's the wrong spot. So I wish I had Gummy over here instead of, um... Instead of Spot. Oh, the one's killed faster. and everyone's dead. Yeah. Uh, hello Ophelia, welcome. Just in time to see me fail. <laughs> Hang on, it's not reset yet. The things haven't re have been come back. Okay. All right, let's do our resets. Try number nine. Well, we're going to get a bit more free stuff, so we might be able to uh, to level something. But I just don't think I've got enough. Um, I just don't think I've got enough uh, resources to level anyone. Yes, yeah, so the lottery has been very generous to me on my main account. As long as it's 600 or more, it's good. 
I feel cheated when I, when I get any less than 600. Yay, La Pluma! Congratulations. Congrats, Cripper, on the La Pluma. You shouldn't have wished for Bubble, then you wouldn't have gotten her. Oh, nice. Read from recruitment. Summoner tag on recruitment is Maya. Doctor, Genki ga ii janai ka? Look at that sugar! Oh my god! We're rolling in it. This is so good. Look at that, look at that. Oh, so beautiful. So beautiful. And that's 30 green certificates. That means we can buy something else from the store. Okay. Recruitment. What do we got? First time I've had so much sugar in the store. Uh, what do we want from here? Nothing. And here. Supporter, caster, here we it's ranged. Nothing. Starter. I think we'll go for that one. Daily pull, 
Something good. Uh, no. No. Four star would have been nice. Just to get more certificates. Okay. We can afford a little bit from the store there. La Pluma from the Daily is what I always hope for. This is the, our grand total resources. Okay, um, should we invest further in these operators or do we want to level someone more? I'm not sure what to do. Another option is to just leave it here, let it build up a bit, and then we'll come back another day and do the, um, the Arknights real world stuff for now. Okay, someone earlier was asking about the pulls. Here, you can see. Oh yes, the piping bags as well. I'm gonna do that now. I think I forgot to do them yesterday. I'm almost certain I forgot to do them yesterday. Uh, you're, you're going to have to do Annihilation this week anyway, because the event is going to be out for, for another week, so it doesn't matter which one you do first. You're going to have to do Annihilation at least this week for the event, uh, during the event. Okay, so this is the very first submission to the real world Cross Arc Knights. Yeah, if you just go to Billy Billy, they'll be the full VOD. So this one is titled... Uh, Rhodes Museum Visit. It's basically, it's like a... Uh, celebrities visiting Madame Two Swords and seeing their own wax um, sculptures. <laughs> I like the uh, Lapland chasing Exia and then Texas beating Lapland for it. Uh, no, I have zero Arknights merch. I have pretty much no merch of, any, of anything. Main thing I get related to stuff is uh, art books. I really like art books. The Arknights art books are very expensive though. Like they're crazy overpriced. Next, we have Dusk critiquing your artwork. Yeah, actually, I don't know. What's with the memes of... of, uh, of Red walking on walls? Is it based on some kind of bug or something? In the base where 
you'd randomly find her on walls or something. I really like this one. I think this one's great. Uh, that one's a bit too uh, horny jail for stream. Uh, what about this one? I'll keep that one open. <laughs> I like this one. This one's cute. That's the one I skipped over. <clears throat> this is cute. <laughs> Uh, what else is there that's good? Oh, this is nice. It's a bit too blurry, I think. Should have been a bit more focused. <laughs> this one's... <laughs> Check this out. <laughs> <laughs> That's just too goofy. Uh, what other ones are there? Lots of people are using the uh, the the chibi art from the anniversary. <laughs> this is so dumb, but I love it. Uh, I'm trying to select the the best ones. This one's cute. Actually, no, we'll put it in a new tab. Weedy working on stuff. Another, I know this is not Magellan, I think this is no scent. I know it's, it's, uh, no, this is Magellan, yeah. That's cute. <laughs> This one's titled Zero Sanity. I 
I, I love these uh these little artworks. The Lapland one is great as well. Then there's <laughs> I like the burger. I'm pretty sure they photoshopped the, the Darth Vader burger. Uh, all, all of this is on the official Arknights Discord. There's a, whole, there's a channel, uh, Arknights X Real Life. People eating your sandwiches, although I don't know what's this on the outside of these sandwiches. Like, it looks like a sandwich, like a toasted cheese sandwich, and there's jam on the outside. I don't quite get it. <laughs> but why is it on the outside of two pieces of bread? That's the weirdest thing I've ever seen. Kaiju attack. <laughs> Although this is not very Arknights. Apart from the plushie. Um... <laughs> the return of the giant woman. <laughs> this one is titled don't talk to me or my daughter ever again Mischief at the pool. <laughs> the Ifrit Lane. Yeah. Did not copy. Yeah. Copy link. The Ifrit Lane. Uh, where are the good ones out there? Mm. Another fallen myrtle. Going to the Van Gogh exhibit. Did you know, Bliss, the default XP background was an actual photo taken on film? Yep. 
Yeah, I thought I thought that was normal. Uh, everyone knew that. Um, what else is there? <laughs> oh, you just ah, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, real photo. I really like the photos on the Windows 10 login screen they have from around the world. Some really nice stuff. This is the Rhodes Island Expedition Team. Somebody asked for Brocco. One for the chess fans. That's cute. Lots of people really like using the uh, the anniversary the anniversary bits. <laughs> that one's quite funny. This one, when you look away from your dinner for two seconds and you have a pet dog. One for the Zoids fans. Tiki Exia. <laughs> this one's a classic.
Yeah, they, they, they totally should. I've, uh, sorry, I'm losing her mind. Snipers and their spotter. This one I saw earlier, a uh, guy on YouTube did, put a video of him making this Photoshop. That's the guy himself, I believe. While it was flooded where he lives. This is titled Scardi Boss Battle. <laughs> One for the Zima fans. Yeah, uh, Lam Sun. That's the the guy's channel name. Ifrit burnt her homework. <laughs> this one's great. This one's great. Such a simple edit, but it works. <laughs> Oh my god. Ryan Lab Pizzeria. <laughs> uh, this one, the Solace Holiday Stage Nine IRL. This one's cute. This is the Mars Rover Spirit 2. Oh, hang on. Oh, I hit an extra button by accident. And I think we're pretty much caught up. And one final one. Oh, whoops.
for a few more minutes at doing a bit of gardening. So there are about 400 submissions if you want to see them all. They're on the uh, official Discord. There's a, there's a channel called Arknights X Real Life and you can see all 400 if you want. Uh, the, the most, having looked through all of them, the most popular type is something like, uh, where is a good example? Oh, hang on. Here's a funny one that I missed. Pizza Lopsis was great. Definitely like that one. Yeah, the most the most popular ones are ones like uh like this where it's an image when I say most popular I mean most common ones and then it uses the uh the anniversary uh chibis and like this Lap dumb lightning, that was funny. This one was hilarious. This one was super cute. And I thought this one was great as well. Okay. Oh. Um it's eleven thirty here. I should probably wrap up soon. Uh should we give another shot? To these challenge stages. I'm just really wondering if it's at all possible to win with the current setup. I'm actually wondering, would it be better to use someone like Mudrock and just put her right at the front? Or would the, the heavy dudes just... Nah, unfortunately, stick a stage three challenge road. We've got two challenge roads to go. And that's it. Doctor, Genki ga ii janai ka? Oh, I also remember something else actually. Before we go into that, something I was neglecting, and I don't know why I forgot about this, and it's definitely something you should take advantage of as a new player. To get free resources. Uh, let's place you. 
ポップカルを一人にしないで。Gotta do this because you get five free boxes at the end, and this costs no sanity to do. But I'm gonna go bathroom. I'll be back in two minutes. All right, I'm back. How's the new practice stage going in Annihilation? Uh, you mean the Undertide's one? Thank you for the sub, Power George. Uh, is there a Mudrock on the friends list? I don't remember. Oh, I'm not even looking at the right area. <laughs> the Grand Knight Territory Outskirts. Oh, that's uh, an older one coming back. Yeah. That one's pretty challenging because the two bosses at the end, you need a completely different strategy than everything else. and. You can get all the way there and then you just lose because of the boss, which is kind of annoying. But if you collect all the um, the tripwire things, that takes care of one boss. Give me just one sec. Just want to make sure I'm not wasting sanity in my China account. Uh, right. We've got two fast redeploys. That's what we need. We're going to speed this. Uh, Podenko is great for this. And then, yeah, let's bring some of these ranged. Um, we don't need that many tanks. I think we can bring this. So 
動員気合を入れろ戦闘準備だみんな助けに来たよ一気に型をつける本気で行くよ Hmm, now let's see if we can mud rock. Can we get mud rock in time? Yeah, we can. Alright, uh. Pull the first guy. ここは私の武器は誰にでも扱えるわけではない。私から逃げられると思っているの。ここは私に任せろ。本気で行くよ。戦場に出たから。死ぬ覚悟を決めろ。こちらだね。我が同胞たちよ。私の声に答える。いい場所ね。ちゃん、今日もよろしくね。了解しました。了解。こちらチェン、いつでも指示をくれ。了解。はい。ドクター、私はここに。Emma Levy's rats on the music here. That's a nice pull. どけ。ミニバシャね。指示はあるかしら。連綿たる山々となる。こちらちゃん。ええ、ハンガーハンガー。こちらちゃん。いつでも指示をくれ。こちらちゃん。いつでも指示をくれ。こちらちゃん。い
and we might get some sugar. Which is what I'm really hoping for. Oh wait, hang on. Earlier I said that the the Chinese New Year event is was in 36 hours. It might be in 12 hours. I'm not sure. Uh, just give me one sec. Actually, I can get this to play. I can do both at the same time. Okay. Well, that might be a good idea. Are they ones that you made? Yasha's got two block. That's crazy. I uh, think I'm in a bit of trouble. You know, I actually think this this one won't make a difference. Uh, yeah, sure. Send them over Discord, and I'll take. A look. I I need to like really look into how it all works. I didn't expect the uh, the channel to grow this fast, so I'm totally unprepared. How did I level up my characters so quickly? Um, just by being very efficient with it. Also, you got to really focus on particular characters. You don't want to spread out too much. Forgot she costs twice as much. Uh, yes, I got it from the event. I just don't like the skin. Okay. I'm doing my uh, CN at the same time by the way right what do we need we need to pull some dudes you and you okay Uh, 
慢しないで私はあなたの戦場に出たから死ぬ覚悟決めろ <laughs> Good evening, Lara. Welcome. Should be okay. But I see no book. That any of us tied a lucky one. But I see that I need a little more feeling. But I see no book. That any of us tied a lucky one. Anything else I need to set up? Sky and we're done. Is it better to level your characters to max level before I start main quest? Uh, you mean the main story? No, no, you should be doing uh, the first couple of chapters of the story. Because they're really it's really easy and the rewards you get, particularly from clearing out the missions, uh, will really accelerate your account. And you also need it in order to upgrade the base as well. you watch the first stream uh, for this, it's on my YouTube channel. You'll see we cleared uh, almost halfway to chapter two with a level one team. But then once you can, get into the event and farm the first three stages and then buy all the money and XP from the event store. I am, I am truly desperate. I'll do anything. I'll do anything for a bit of crack. It's a different mud rock, I didn't notice. Oh, 
死ぬ覚悟を決めろここは私に任せろ私の武器は誰にでもあるみんなこっち来て I should stop pulling dudes. For now, oh no, I didn't think this guy was going to go down here. I forgot. This dude's taking too long to kill. Alright, I'm here. Do you think? Oh man. How is she not dead? Okay. It's all good. CC6 for a month? Oh my god. That's a long time. confident about this. This guy needs to die really fast. Or this guy gets triggered. Uh, Chen. There we go. Chen just two shots these guys. Let's take. Uh, actually, the guys. It's gonna take a while to get here. There we go. Okay, come on. Oh, whoops, I faced it the wrong way. Yeah. 
準備はできたわ集団我が同胞たちよ And done. Nasa no Bokatsiak, Honto ni Mel Miharumono de Sta. Subarashkata de Sio. Hello, Dry Speed. Welcome. So, this is what we're here for. These right here. Now we have to hope and pray that I get something I can use. This is more important than any pull so far. No! <laughs> it's rubbish! <laughs> it's rubbish! Okay, so what skills have we got to level? So Silver Ash I got to seven. Uh, Ansel, what's it gonna take for you? Two of that, we just used all of that before. I think that's worth it. Does it not charge up faster? Nobody needs that, so I'm not going to complain. Oh, God. Lots of sugar. Okay, yeah, now it charges up faster. That would be very nice to have. Right, there's sugar there. Sugar there. Three devices there. Okay, does anybody else need the devices? Uh, what did Ansel need again? Oh, he needed the poly. Cicero is at full. Three sugar there. Rocks. Spot. An RMA, which I unfortunately can't afford because I need those for silver ash. More sugar. I can buy that sugar for... Um, and the more sugar there. <laughs> but they're all 777. Okay. So platinum. Needed the devices. We'll do this one. And we'll poly. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'll be editing some of the uh, the stream videos for like highlights, highlight content. Is there anything I can get from here? No. I mean, I can get more LMD, but I need XP. And I don't think I can afford the materials e to even craft those. Get a base to 4,000 will give me 30k. And the only other thing we have left is we can buy two sugar from here. But ideally, I should be saving it up to get some RMA. Because farming this is an absolute pain. We do have these left. I've managed to get away with not having to tap into these. But the main thing I want to use them on is what it's going to take to promote Silver Ash. So we've got the chips, got the D-Steel. These two will just come over time. And now for the White Horse Coal. This 
We need another force, we need two sugar or RMA. However, I believe there is one from the milestone rewards. And I already collected it. Uh, none of these help me except for the money and the XP. Alright, so... How much is this? Right, so we've got 45 to 53. That's everything we have. Yeah, what's mastery going to take as well? This you can get from the event store. This I'm missing nine grindstones, which is a lot. <laughs> But man, that upgrade is worth it. Two seconds less on the recharge. Extra 10% damage. Ah, oh, I wish I could afford that. It's just too expensive. I don't think I can afford any more Masters until I at least get Silver Ash. And even then, it's probably better to do Silver Ash. Um, mastery. One. All right, let's give this a shot. Um, I'm gonna try a few random things. So I'm curious if Mudrock over here would be good. The block here, put Mudrock there, and then she spins to win, leaving all of that. My only concern is just not doing enough damage uh, as physical damage dealer. Because they, they've got high defense, these guys. Schwartz, I think it's a skill three. The one that makes a fire in a line. Really good at killing bosses. Whichever one, whichever skill that is, the one that fires in a line, high power. I also wish I could do more about the uh, the damn casters at the start. If I... Is there any chance that like Amiya and Pedenko could kill a caster? before it leaves. Is, that any, is there any possibility? Uh. 
Let's give it a shot. Right, where did we swap from here? Oh, we didn't change anything. Uh, yep, we're still good. Uh, uh, the problem is, if I want to do that strategy, I've got to get rid of two other units to bring them on. And I honestly can't see anything to remove. Maybe Yato and La Pluma. That puts one... One, two, three, four, five grand units. Yeah, let's give it a try. Just for the sake of it. Also, does Silver Ash need skill too, if he's with Spot? Or it better to put more damage on Silver Ash, I'm not sure. Although I don't think it'll make a difference. As long as they survive, it doesn't really matter. Alright, let's try this. God, I'm tired. Uh, who do I want to go there? to put on here just yet. I really wish I could get thorns charged up faster. Okay. The damage is just kind of overwhelming. The sister just dies instantly. I don't think there's a point to that. And Thorns, he can't tank that. And then as soon as that guy's stunned... I just feel like something with AoE would be more effective.
I mean, if we're going to do the Thorns carry, maybe we sacrifice this from Chen. Uh, where is it? And we give this one to Thorns. We'll try this again now with more power into thorns and we'll see if that makes a difference. Yeah, if, if I could just if I could silence oh I've got to swap the um the casters. <laughs> The question is, do I activate Chen's skill here and set up, or do I save it for, for later? Healers just can't survive the uh, the corrosion, which is so irritating. Chen's gonna die from the boat.
Okay. I'm putting in zigzag. Oh, you mean the formation? No, the reason why they grouped up is because when the the big guys stun, they will just walk right through. And then when they stun the next guy, they turn back to the person they just walked through. If I can kill them after the first, when they get through the first one, it, it might work. But I just don't know if there's enough damage. Hello, Vintex. Welcome. Um, I mean, I, I can try, but I'm just not. Yeah, but Chen's skill three can't cover everything. Now, unfortunately, I don't think a range, another range unit will work. There's, there's already no space for ranged units. I'm already wishing that I had, like, I would rather have, um, uh, what's it called? An E2 Silver Ash rather than Chen for this, I think. It does seem it does seem doable. I just need to figure out like when do I activate the Chen skill? When do I save it? You know, I'm not sure. So this is the question. Chen skill here or do I save it for later? I mean, we've been falling pretty quickly, so let's just go for it. And then if we really need it, then we can, then we can hold on to it later. And this is saving for the next one. We'll see. So now we need to know are we going to. Should we have cancelled that or not? That's what we'll test. We'll remove her. That way. He walks in. Two casters as one, at once. Real pain. Mm 
Spot is dying. Man, what's happening over there? Why is Spot dying? You should be fine. Oh, there goes Spot. Yeah, Spot needs to go down sooner so that the casters that come out don't attack him. I was holding off too long on that. Also, I think... I think Chen ignores the second group of guys. So after you kill the first two, cancel. And then we use it for where we just wiped over there. I don't think at M1 the, the recharge is fast enough for me to be able to kill the second group and get it back up in time. The only other medic I have is an E0 hibiscus. I shouldn't need any more healing than just these two. And there's no nowhere else to put them. Because the casters will just kill them wherever I put them. What I need, what would be great, is if I had Gummy built up. I would like to have Gummy instead of Narcorn. That would be perfect. Chen's damage is completely fine, even without the sticker. Okay. 
This is where Spot died last time, I think. Could put Susuro there, Noakorn there, and Gravel there. Oh my god. Why didn't you heal yourself, Cicero? And Spot is about to die again. He did not take any extra hits and he still died. Why not you siege with silver ashes and have spot be behind siege? There's no spot behind them. Oh, we did a bunch of other stuff in between. I think we've done 12 tries, is what I'm hearing. The Pluma won't work on the left because the caster would just stand there and kill her. Um, yeah, I really wish we had Gummy instead. Instead of Spot. I mean, she'll die in two seconds. But Fudenko's doing nothing at the moment. Spots, and you got that much defense. Uh, yes, my alt account will hopefully get thorns. My main account will be going for Salik, and I'll be going for the limited banner on my CN account. Okay, for those asking what we've got, this is what we've got. Um. Alright. Let's try again. I think with Spot, I need to activate his skill earlier. Yeah, the the AR um, 
and uh, chin cycling might be a way to go. As long as I can, if I can place Aya up top, that's the only thing. Finding space for ranged units is just the worst on this. There's no space for anyone. Hello, Rapid Potential. Welcome, everyone. We are trying to clear Sticker Stage 3 on a 9-day-old account. <laughs> Challenge mode. Struggling a bit because every second wave is wiping us. <laughs> They just all pop in two seconds. I mean, like, what am I supposed to do? And just watch Hibiscus die in no seconds flat. And obviously there goes, um, everyone. <laughs> I mean, we've got... Well, this is the furthest we've ever made it, but we've got nothing left. Oh my god. Ah no. I went the wrong direction. Okay, good. Cicero didn't get hit. The left side is in total shambles. I mean, it's supposed to be healing over there, but it doesn't look like it. No. Oh my god. Okay. Uh, right, let's let's try let's try the AR. Uh the AR split. Let's see how that goes. Alright, so if AR is coming aboard. Do we need to change anything? Um
No, I don't think so. But the problem is also the left side. Like, there's just no chance of winning. I'm going to try switching Silver Ash back to skill one so he kills things faster. And that way Spot is not in as much trouble. I can't make Spot any stronger. <clears throat> what I really wish I could do is a no melee run. Just everything in the meat grinder of casters as they run through the middle. Oh, hang on. If there's not going to be horns, I need to change the formation. Okay, so I'm thinking Aya goes up here. That way she's still in range of healing. And then we probably also put someone there. So Spot will go up there. Now the question is, who goes first and who goes second? Hey Ekajin! How's it going? <laughs> oh man. Uh, sticker stage 3, challenge mode. Uh, 9 day old account. Trying to do it. Bashing my head against this. Uh, with this try 14. <laughs> Yeah, it's going okay. We've got two more challenge modes to do until uh, the final final week. Oh, it's fun, but man, it's difficult. <laughs> Thank you for the sub, Amper, Amper Pill. Uh, who has the faster re... I'm pretty sure Chen has the faster recharge, right? So we should go Chen, Aya, Chen, Aya. Surely, right? Actually, another thing is, if I put Aya here, did she reach over there with her skill, or was that one square too far? Uh, Kura, yes, I'm from Australia. Alright. Let's try, uh... I need to... I think we... Oh man, A is going to die from the boat. We're going to use Aya first because if she dies, then at least it's not wasted. And we can always redeploy her later. Oh my god. Okay. I forgot to activate spot earlier. Uh, the enhancement pack, you mean the thing that co uh, costs Originite Prime? Always. Because 
the the cost that you pay for the pack you get that much back in a random so it's the same pull value all the materials and everything are free so 100 percent you should get that uh, i'll do a french stream so in the future at some point uh, maybe for integrated strategies too since it's a phantom event I think we need to block them here. Oh my god. Noakon, seriously. Live. Oh god, there's more of them. Alright, well, there goes A, huh? That unfortunately means our cover is gone. Uh, for integrated strategies, no. No, integrated strategies is not the sort of mode that this kind of challenge works for. A is 42 seconds away. Can't decide who needs help where. I think I think it's lost. Let's try. If Aya doesn't die, this is totally doable. Now, see the thing is with integrated strategies too, because. You, it's, you, you borrow. You borrow, um, operators at the start. Uh, I'm seeing something got blocked. Okay, uh, right. The other problem that I'm seeing is that no matter what we do, no, no, the, it wasn't the bot that got timed out. That was, that was one of our actual viewers. Uh, I think you can, yeah, you can undo it. He's back. He's back. Um, I think even if the center works, I just don't see the left side surviving. Unfortunately. Uh, so, was that the automated thing that um, timed him out, or was it intentional? What? Accidentally intentional. You know what I might need to do? I think I might need to just bite the bullet and invest some LMD into uh, Hibiscus. E0 Hibiscus just doing nothing. <laughs> or, but here's the thing, if it doesn't work out, then that's wasted resources that could either go into Perfuma or Gummy for a level one. Gummy would absolutely make the left side work. Let's have a look at, uh, at Gummy. Where is she? 
By the way, Ekijin, I don't know if you've seen this before, but this is the new account luck pulled from the uh, bagpipe banner within 40 pulls. <laughs> No, Gummy would go on the uh, on the left side instead of Spot. And there were three uh, characters on the starter banner. Gummy over there. I wonder, because Gummy's skill one is what we need. Skill one is what we need for, for Gummy to hold the left side. I wonder if E0 Gummy is enough. Should I go for it? I think I've got no choice. We're going. And actually, if I have the materials, oh, I don't have this. Hang on, what what uh, swaps into it? What swaps into this one? Do I have, by crazy chance, the chips needed? That's no, medic stuff, which I don't think I have. No, I don't. Uh, I've got no spare. But we're going to try it with this anyway. We just need continual healing. Spot the cooldown on his skill is just too long. Can't. Oh my god. We're out of sugar as well. <laughs> Everybody just wants goddamn sugar. I can't even order to play this one. Why not? Oh, it's the one I think I borrowed for the, uh, for the mission. I have nude pics of low light. Wow, Mingo-chan, See, what am I doing? Is it worth to farm the event? Absolutely. You should farm as much as you can from the event. Start with the money and the XP, because that will level up your operators faster. Buy any materials that you need to increase skill levels and promo. Uh, and then... Uh, grab roughly from left to right, although um, from the blue materials, the purple manganese and the blue Oriok are better than the uh, the other rock. The cluster. Yeah, the the white horse coal, I need another four sugar. Buy another two sugar for it. Sorry, I've already got two. Yeah, I would not buy furniture parts. Okay. Don't buy the furniture parts, but do buy the furniture pieces. It is worth it. And the reason to buy the furniture, even if you don't want the furniture, is that when the event reruns, it turns into a currency that you can um, trade in for materials, or more importantly, a random. There's a whole ton of a random waiting for you once the event reruns. Yes, yeah, the, the purple certificates in the, the store.
Uh, Decim, you don't grind devices. It costs way more to get devices than it does to get uh, rocks. Uh, some people do, but you are setting yourself back in progression in every other way. Because you're spending all your sanity on it and you're draining LMD at the same time. Uh, right, gummy. Okay, so what do we need for gummy? Uh, whoops. Now I don't know if... Uh, by the way, ignore the base layout. I accidentally made it this way. I wasn't paying attention. Um, I don't know if Defender farming is available today. Okay. We're going for it. We're promoting Gummy. Because no matter what we figure out on the right side, I just don't see the left side surviving with Spot. His heal is, is strong, but the cooldown is just too long. We might need, even need to farm some XP tickets for Gummy. We'll see. She's also zero trust. Uh, I mean, several characters are zero trust. That's okay. So how's everyone going with the event? Managed to clear all the sticker stages, EX? Challenge? I've completed them on main and alt account. Uh, Annihilation, yeah, completed. Uh, Annihilation 1, perfect. Annihilation 2, perfect. Rotating Annihilation, perfect. And the third one was, uh, there was a, a slight leak at the end. Um, but because it takes so long to do the Annihilation, particularly Annihilation 3, uh, I'm just going to wait and then do it again. Uh, well, actually this week, because now it's reset. If anyone is struggling, uh, Ekujin's guides are excellent. They're really concise and really easy to follow. And he uses like the lowest rarity team possible. So it's really easy to adapt his strategy to whatever you've got. Okay. I used his videos a fair bit when I first started out. And actually, funny enough, Ekogen, uh your videos were the ones that showed me that three-star operators weren't worthless. Because I came from other gacha games, and in other gacha games, if it's not max rarity, it's garbage. Okay. So, I just assumed this, it was the same over here. And it was, uh, I believe, Mansfield Break, where I first needed help. And that's when I, I, cou I couldn't kill the boss. The boss was just absolutely wrecking me. And it was just, oh yeah, just put a defender right on him. Just block him. <laughs> Easy. Uh, Gundam, we're talking about Echogen. He's in the chat. Uh, he, he makes these great guide videos uh, on YouTube. Although, if he ever uses bubble in a guide, I close the video. <laughs> a 
Welcome, Mars. I have not played Azur Lane. Derna and uh, Bison are my two tanks for the longest time. In fact, they pretty much are my, my only tanks. Still. <laughs> and Spot. Dinar is excellent. Uh, that AoE arts damage, especially if you don't start with an arts guard like me, it makes such a big difference. In fact, in any any guy that looked at where it's like, oh, use mouse or something, because I didn't have her, I would just replace with Dinar, and it would generally work. Uh, next six star in the certificate shop. Uh, if you mean debut, it's Rosa, but that would be six weeks from now. If you mean the actual next cool. banner, we don't know, but there's a good chance of Aya because of her skin, or it might be the one after that. Um, other than that, I think. Oh, Shiguma is due, but she was in another banner, not in the certificate shop. So she's probably going to get skipped over for a bit. Uh, the other one that's due is... We had Skadi recently. Did we have... No, we had Mostima. Who am I thinking of? Is it Siege? I can't remember. Oh, that's right. There's Shining. Yes, yes. That's right. That's right. We got... For some reason, I had it in my head that Shining had already happened. Because of that leak, no, it's shining. After that, we don't know, and then it should be Rosa. Uh, I could turn these three medic chips into the defender chips I need, but if we're going to do perfumer in future, I'm going to need them. But I want to get this done. I, I will just farm them again for perfumer later. Uh, right, workshop. Do I have anyone with a chip bonus? Uh, no. So Maya is the best option. Uh, right. Always double check when converting chips. It's so easy to go the wrong way. Thankfully, I can't make that mistake here. Yeah, with Gladia's skill, she's not channeling it once it goes out. It's the same with um, with Calcet. If Calcet activates a monster skill and then Calcet gets stunned, it still keeps going. But you can't activate it while Calcet is stunned. Ah. Polyester roadblock. Is the second one. First it's sugar. Everybody needs goddamn sugar, and now everybody needs polyester. As soon as I clear the sugar, everyone's gonna want polyester, I'm sure of it. Uh, I don't know the ratio, but you can always clear out everything they add to the purple certificate store. But obviously, if you're not there from the beginning, then you'll be playing catch up. But you will theoretically catch up eventually because you get, I think it's like 10 or 15% more than what you need to buy everything that they just added each time. But obviously, you should focus on getting the random and such first. Okay, what have we got to put in? Uh, 
Alright, this is it. This is everything we got. We're down to one XP. <laughs> Oh, I'd love to clear that out. Okay. Back to the event. Let's see if if she's strong enough. Actually, is there anything I can get from here that's going to help? Now we're down to this, which is just for the sake of collection. Same with that. Unfortunately, don't need any of these. There's always the option to buy from here, but man, it's a desperate, desperate play. Take 13 for one sugar. But I think we might have no choice at some point. Okay. Right, are we going with the AS strat again? And just trying to keep... Okay, if we could put... Actually, if we could put Spot in the middle, Spot can help keep AR alive. So I think we're going to go for the same strategy. Uh, I think it's two points per sanity. Now, do I replace hibiscus? Or... Do I replace noir corn and keep hibiscus for more healing later? We'll try without this and we'll see if we still need more healing on the right. Okay, um... We might need to switch Silver Ash back to skill. Okay, no, we'll see. And then... If Gummy can't keep up the healing on both of them... Uh, I do have Susure skin. I do not like it. Alright. Uh, what were we doing? What was the first play? I've completely lost my train of thought of what we would do first. Silver Ash needs to go there, but we put someone there. Uh, Cora, I think. No, Spot should go there. Uh, I misremembered which direction the last guy went through. But I think we're okay. No, I want, want this first, because when they target Chen, I don't want hitting someone else. Okay. Right. Oh, it's one of the fast food places, okay. Uh, I cannot remember. Is it faster to just redeploy Aya like Silver Ash? I, I can't, it's been ages since I've used her. I cannot remember the timing of her skills.
Ekijin, you must know off the top of your head. Is it faster to redeploy AR? Alright, let's pull her back then. I don't know if I need... We're doing it. Uh, this, ev this event banner? Yeah, it does. Banners only last two weeks. Whoa, crap. Chen should live, yeah. Alright. Wait for these guys to leave just a little bit. Thank you. Should be okay with that. Deploying another. Oh boy. I think we need to go sus. Oh man. Please kill. Quickly. Ow! Spot. No! Oh god, two people died. That's not good. I think Silver Ash needs to change to his, um, the, the healing skill. I think okay. the, the issue is that, uh, Gummy just can't keep both of them up. We're still alive, but not for long. Maybe Chen can hold out. <laughs> Everyone hold out for Chen. Alright, heal quickly. I hate this cast that sits... The, the guy screwing up the left side is this one dude. This guy who sits right here. Oh my god. No, it's... I don't know if I should deploy Gummy or hold just in case on the left side. Still Rash is back. Hang on, I think we got this. <laughs> um, the only problem is Chen's about to run out of bullets. Frugality, please. I think Still Rash over there is fine. Sure. I think the left side's okay. For now. Spot, hang on. It wouldn't select it. It kept clicking the box. And then we stall this guy until he stuns Gravel and then he's back on Korra. Uh, who do we replace? Uh, Sorash. Back, back, back. Alright. Uh, we just 
We'll wait until someone comes up that can kill this guy. Come on. Also, him sliding forward is good. Now Myrtle's hitting him. And yes, he's gonna die. Okay. <laughs> so that was just practice. Now we're gonna do it for real. Oh my god. But I can't believe Gummy made all the difference. Uh, yeah, Aya going first is good because then we're not relying on her when those snorkel dudes. He got poked in the eye by a flag. <laughs> Alright, so let's do it for real. It's been a long day. It's 1.20 a.m. over here. And there was almost a leak at the start as well. That was really scuffed. Yeah, the mistake was not putting a spot there right away. Alright, next. Ansel goes down. So then we hold the chin. Now here we needed Aya. People use spot now, just to keep everyone alive. The gummy can go down. Ah! Comboed at the same time. Oh, that's not good. That's not good. Let's see if we can rescue it. I think I think last time I put Yato over there as well to save Aya. Yep, I think that's what I need to do next time. Just that one little change. This is where the pain... This is where the pain happens. Alright. Oh god. The boat's not destroyed. Uh, that's a wipe. <laughs> Yeah, you really need Chen at that point. Nah, Siege is gonna is gonna pop. Nah, it's a bit too late. Once once the ground units die that early, there's no coming back. Okay, um, I gotta stop the damn boat. Also, I think I could probably put. Now the boat explosions, is that in an, uh, a 3x3 three three grid or is it just the cross? Is it adjacent or full surrounding? I can't remember. I have a feeling it's just the cross, but I'm not sure. Because I swear in the, in the fourth one, 
saw in the fourth one, I would have the boat explode in the bottom right corner. Yes, it, actually, it's true. Chen is getting hit even when it's blocked right in front of her by Korra. Yeah, no, you're right. Okay. Yeah, the bomb boats. But yeah, I'm pretty sure it's it's a nine because I was thinking I can just move AO one square to the right, but it's not going to make a difference. I just need to drop drop Yato. Yes, this is challenge, right? ランジは技を打ちに。ガンロー物に過ぎぬのか。本気で行くよ。ここは私に任せろ。ランジラの愛。我が意向に勝ち消されたり。So last time I put Cora right here. If I don't put her down, I can instead put the two fast over there. Yeah, let's just do this. Just to be safe. In fact, I think I can activate AS skill early. Because the, um... The heavies. Yeah, there they are. That's okay. Ah, should put gummy first. And that's why. But it's okay. Alright. I'm pretty sure I don't need to worry about that one. Chen should live, yep. These two guys dodged. Oh my god, she still died! No! Ah. How did she die that time? I thought for sure she was going to survive it. Ah, oh, that sucks. Okay, hang on. Right, um, we still have to worry about the left in a second. We need to stall these two guys for Aya. And there's no AoE anymore to clear these guys out. Right, we're in a bit of a pickle. Not gonna lie. And left is about to go down. Come on, Aya, do your thing. Oh my god, left is going to go down. Oh, 
This guy's gonna leak. Chen needs to not die. Because if Chen doesn't die, then I have the spare melee to drop on the left side. Oh yes, I, I keep forgetting to swap Silver Ash back to skill 2. I think the, the left would survive if he was on skill 2. Because then Gummy could just focus on healing herself. Ah, no! Ah, it slipped. I did it too fast. Ah. Oh, God, this is going to be bad. This is going to be really bad. Right, let's hope we can fix this. You know, I think I could really activate a skill sooner, and she could probably kill this guy. Should I... In order to fix this, should I immediately swap these two now? I think I will. Let's see if this fixes it. This time we're not risking it. Alright. What do we do now? Um Okay, uh Should I retreat Aya? I mean she's gonna die to these guys. Let's just leave her up for a bit of damage, I think. Spot. 
heal. Oh man. I don't know how I'm gonna block this one. I don't think I can. I think I want to block this one. Oh no, that was a terrible idea. <laughs> there goes Susuro. Oh god. The bottom lane is. This left lane is totally dead. Attack this guy! Attack him! No! Ah. All right, see you, Nico. Thanks for watching. Ah, oh, man. That left side. Okay, Silver Ash. Remember, change skill. Uh, no. Uh, the advantage... No, because... Gummy can block and Silver actually still attack, so you are getting more damage out of it. Also, I'm going to activate Aya's skill sooner. Because if we can kill that caster, that will also help. But you can swap back and forth. So you just swap to his healing when he needs it, and then you, it's every five seconds you can do it. It was also kind of nice having Noir Corn deployed here afterwards because it meant that uh, they weren't attacking Korra, which wasn't hitting Chen. And I'm wondering if I should do that again this time. Theoretically, activate a skill now and still do everything. Uh, I think it was a bit too early. Uh, I also did it in the wrong order. And I kind of have to retreat her. I need her back. That was too early. How's this guy still alive? Siege, finish him off. Thank you. And the caster didn't even die anyway. That's just irritating. Okay. But we can activate this now. So we should be okay. Oh, 
男女は我が恩敵に立つ元老仏に次ぎぬか何か考え男女は我が恩敵に立つ元老仏に次ぎぬか敵を死にした I think I was a bit slow on air. Narika Tanga in Aru Narinjiraga Kotta Shi Pui Nambi Kamokari. I'm really concerned about that left side. Oh, hang on. Ah, I thought his skill was off. I just, I just turned it off. Ah. I don't know why. Now the problem is, you need his skill to be to be off for him to hit the caster in front of Gummy. It's so irritating. I'm actually wondering if I could not deploy Gummy until that car. Is it? I'm wondering if it's possible for me to hold her back all the way until that cast arrives, then drop her on top of him. That way, even with his skill active, he can still uh, hit. Thank you, Chair. Welcome. And yeah, it's uh, Silver Ash skill was active and then I turned it off. But honestly, like, they were going to die either way. Yes, yeah, Silverash can survive the bomb boats. It's the casters that stand there and just keep attacking that are a problem. I might try just dropping in an occasional fast redeploy on Silverash's side. Do the boats by themselves are no threat to Silrash. I wish I could set an alarm for when Silver Ash is dying. See, and then last, swapping spot for Noir Corn to di direct attacks over there. That ended up being quite nice. I 
ージはあるかしら敵を死に火力で一気に制圧する Right, so there's that caster. This is the guy that gives, gives us all the grief. And I think this is the point where we just turn on this for a bit. Yeah, see, it's that bomb blow, uh, that boat blowing up plus Chen, that's what killed her last time. I think it's safe. Alright, I just need to really keep an eye on that left side. Alright, this is where I can drop gummy. There we go. So now Silverash, with his skill active, Cicero. No. Hang on, let's think about this for a second. Right, what's going on? On left side, we're still looking okay. Uh, that cast is dead. Chen is almost at skill. Still Rash is still healing. Oh no. I hate that caster so much. How did we succeed before and it's just not working this time? I think um, Spot needs to not die because if I had Noir Corn still, then I could have dropped him on the left side. So I think I'm going to have to bring in uh, Susuro just for a little bit and then even retreat. Yeah, I'm, I'm thinking of doing that as well. I think I'm going to swap them out. But the thing is Spot keeps, um, keeps AR alive. I'll do the swap after AO retreats. Ah, uh, whoops, I did the wrong thing. That's okay. Oh, yeah, the delayed gummy drop, that was perfect. Okay. 
Oh damn, ah, I should put Cora down first. But Spot will still be better for a later drop over there. Ansel nearly gets one shot every time he goes down from the corrosion. Oh my god, there was almost a leak there. I didn't even notice. Alright. Wait for this guy to leave. Okay. I think we have to put Cora down now. Or we get overwhelmed. And I think this is where Come on. Ah, damn it. Can siege handle? She can't handle everything. I think Susuru should have gone down sooner and then had the burst healing ready. Left side is in trouble as well. Alright, there goes Susuru. Alright, Siege is going to kill this guy, block those two. I need to block this thing right here. There's no way Gummy's living through this, so Spot needs to go there. And then... No, I think we're okay. Oh, oh Jesus. Left side. Left side is still a problem. Yeah, see the problem with skill two silver ash is that um he does not kill that that final bit you can see there's so many enemies there's so many enemies alive because silver ashes does no damage with skill two i think we have to go back to skill one and then just do the drop in later God. so painful hey chef now, skill 3 would be amazing.
Uh, poutine? No, I haven't. That's, uh... Isn't that like fries with gravy on top or something? Canadian thing? I've never been to Canada. I mean, it sounds nice. I would definitely like to try it someday. Oh, wait. I need the healer. Not Chen. See, the only threat on the left side is the casters. Because Silver Ash regen's just fine in between. I wonder if there are many places, if there are any places in Sydney where I can try that. Surely there must be. Although I haven't seen any Canadian restaurants. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, um... Let's see if that helps. Because, in theory, the idea of this is that these two stop getting hit by everything. The only thing is I don't have the spot emergency here. Now I don't need a block now because she's not taking any damage. All right, left side situation. You know what I just thought of? <laughs> if I had someone I could put here to distract this guy. Or even drop in like a caster right there. Just to help kill this guy faster. That would... Ah, if only I could. I think I have to do gummy now. But it's okay, because Silver Ash can attack 4 range. I should have ended Chen's skill sooner. I don't know why I didn't. That was really dumb. That might, that might cost us. Yeah, Jiren. Ah, it would be perfect. Right. Uh, I've got no deployment slots. So I'm not sure if I need any. We're okay. Oh, 
Okay, we're back here again for the 10th time. I love maple syrup. Maple syrup is so good. And considering how valuable it is, I'm not surprised there are heists for maple syrup uh, containers. Alright, that caster is dead. Alright, here's, here's the hell. I think I need to prevent Noir Corn from getting bombed. Left side is in serious trouble. You know, another thing is, I'm wondering if uh, I should swap spot early after Gummy just to get the skill ready for this for this moment. I'm not sure. Oh my god, they both died. Uh, right, who should I drop where? Uh. Should spot go at the back? And tank harder? Or should you go at the front and give healing to... to gravel? I think it's going to have to be spot at the back. And then the fast redeploys. Swapping in. At the front. I think that's the, that's the only way I can see it sort of working. And we just have to hope there's enough damage. Come on spot. Kill him. Kill him. Alright. It's two down. Alright, this. Just gotta kill this bomb. And that's three enemies right there. Okay, can spot hold out? Come on, Gravel, target the weakest one. No, not the caster! Can Aya help? Now nah, she can't reach. Also, last time we retreated Myrtle as well. Okay, good. Down to two. Everyone's back up. We got this! We got this, people! Uh, let's put Silver Ash for the damage. Ah, it's done! <laughs> Finally! Oh my god! Done! Thank you! <laughs> I just banged my head on the table. <laughs> Sanity restored indeed. Oh my god. Oh, I'm done. Thank you everyone for this great moment for being here. <laughs> Time to give my Oscar, Oscar speech. Oh god. Sticker stage four. My most hated stage of all time. Oh my god. Um, should I, do, I try to get the perfect Annihilation 3? See you, zombie. Thanks for hanging around. Okay, so with this one... They no longer die.
Yeah, if I get Silver Ash, I, if I get Silver Ash E2, I could definitely do this. Chen over here for the first wave, Silver Ash for the second wave, I could totally do it and help him kill the thing over there. The big concern is tanks that can survive, that can take the hit. Let's show you what I have. Okay. There's Gummy. Spot, Cora, and Noir Corn. I don't think Yato's of any use in this one. Now for this one, I think I need to go. I definitely need the ranged attack. I need the devices and I need uh, Yes, the one to deploy defenders. That's right. Uh, where is it? Medics. Casters, snipers, supporters, guards. Where is it? Defenders. Okay. Uh, actually, I don't know if I need the additional 4 DP. I think I need to take the 40% defense. Where is it? This one. All right. Defense on the ground. Offense in the air on high ground. Three devices. Now the question is, will Spot survive? <laughs> will he take the hit? Oh, Spot survived before, it's just a bit of luck because the heal has to go off between the impact and the attack. If it does, he lives. Hang on, one sec. Gonna put gummy over here. Uh, what's the formation going to be? Now the first set of bombs they explode over. Is it there? No, it's there. I think the first set explodes over there. The second set explodes over there. No, no, it's the other way around. First over here, second over here. So I need to put the okay. healers over here. No device shouldn't go on there. Uh, that was dumb. I need two devices here, one device there. 
Yeah, it's gonna leak right there, right here. Uh... Yeah, that guy's gonna leak. No, I need I need more damage. Uh, the bubble prevents you from being affected by the tide. I really need a, another healer. Now, I need two defenders for later, but I think I need to just put someone else instead of... I think I just need to put Silver Ash at the start. So if we... Yep, Silver Ash on skill one. Give me AR. Uh, and I need some more actual damage, so we're going to get rid of Podenko. And let's use you. I mean, it's, it's poorly explained, to be honest. Even if you read the description. See how this goes. I have a feeling I'm gonna need. I can't put Susuro there because the um, the boats will kill him. But I need him to be there to heal the tank over there later. I really wish Silver Ash was E2. My God, just for his stealth detection. That's all I need. That's all I need. I need, I need it. I need another healer. Probably an AoE one. Alright, here comes the pain. Oh, come on, Platinum. Kick his ass. Kick his ass. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Good luck, Seva. Hope you get it. Oh, actually, no, hang on. Platinum might kill the boat. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Nope, we're all good. Ah, oh, I forgot. Ansel is rubbish at taking hits. I kind of have no choice. We're just gonna have to hope Hansel can, Hansel, Hansel can heal later. You know, you're not that slow. Ah, yeah, he is. See, this is why you need to. If I had an extra healer, then it's fine. But without the extra healer, it's it's just too much. Yeah, I need an extra healer. I think I don't think I'm I'm gonna waste any time trying to do this right now. Uh, Gummy is much better than this bot. 
but spot is also good. I didn't. I would have leveled up Gummy from the beginning if I had her at the start. I only got her a couple days ago. Yes, what we need is we need to level Perfuma and and maybe E2 Silverash. Then we can do it. But in the meantime, now we've already completed that one. And we've got this one to do. Because this is a big deal. All right. We go for thorns over there. Chen will clear that side. Sir uh, Platinum at the bottom. Now we still don't have an AoE healer. Because that was the issue last time. We didn't have an AoE healer to um We didn't have an AoE healer to uh heal the top lane. But Gummy can heal constantly. Uh I use a little bit of OP on sanity. On 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 a new account, it, I would recommend using some of it. Like about, I mean, I'm using a bit more than normal for content, but about 10 by level 40, if you're trying to rush it, is really good. Uh, blue poison is stronger than platinum. Okay, uh, who, who's not here? I don't think I need Noir Corn. Um, now, La Pluma is really good early, but late she ends up getting clapped. Pedenko is good at covering leaks, and in fact, I think I'm going to take Pedenko skill one. Silver Ash, should I switch him to skill two? Because he's going to be tanking in the mid lane. I think so. <laughs> Everyone's got favorites. Now, Spot is there as a backup, but should I bring another ranged unit to hit these aero targets? No, Pedenko should be able to cover that if it comes to it. It's really dull for the first 300, uh, two, first 250 kills. So I'm going to try speed through it. Uh, deployment order, we've got to put Chen, then Healer. Uh, actually, Gummy... We're kind of asking Gummy to tank. We're kind of going to be asking Gummy to tank those Arts Drones, which is not a great idea. But I think we have no choice. Okay. But I can always Gravel Drop, and that should be okay. The gummy's very low, it's her low level that I'm concerned about. And she's not going to get any outside heals. 
Uh, although, we might want to consider what if we did Susuro that way and Ansel that way? That way they each heal their own side. Because Thorns doesn't need that much healing. Gummy can he heal herself a bit. Silver Ash will actually be over here. So. Yeah, I think that could work. The day they add bubbles to recruitment is the day I quit. Build up a lot of DP. I find this annihilation to be the most annoying one to get a stable order. It's always a leak. All of the rotating stages have been easier for me than this one. Now, Siege stays here until we've dropped Silver Ash and then Korra. Cora is going to go last to tank everything. Why do I not like Bubble? Her voice is unbelievably annoying. And she doesn't stop talking when you pull her. If I could borrow a second operator, I'd get W right there. W is so much fun on this level. Now, Powerpuff Girls. I love Bubbles over there. She's great. Old Powerpuff Girls, obviously. The new one is kind of garbage. Yeah, that's the thing. Um, in anime, characters that sound like Bubble when they get dubbed, their voice is always an improvement. I hate that kind of voice. Yeah, there's a new power puff, girls. It's not very good. Someone made a great uh, meme for the Chinese New Year. Actually, hang on. While this is going, let me find it. I think it was a top post of the week, so let me... Here it is.
I love this meme. This is great. Mayor Army is hilarious. If you're struggling with drones on this stage, you need to watch your deployment order. And you can always... You can always uh, drop in someone like Gravel. Like say when the drone coming here, because this is usually the biggest threat. You just drop Gravel in the way. And... Uh, she'll take the shots for you. Yeah, the snipers need to be protected, so you put them down first. After your vanguards. See, if, if this gummy was, like, built, she'd be perfectly fine. She'd take all the shots, no problem. To reach the leak zone. This is where the drones come out full force. Also, a bunch of these guys might kill Gummy. But I think Chen's damage is okay. Chen, one more shot, come on. Yeah, without Susuro facing this way, there's no way Gummy would have survived. Alright, we've cleared the leak zone. Mm -hmm. 
Now these drones are a bit of a problem because they don't stop once they start moving forward. And I'm wondering if I need to be concerned. Okay, 300! Alright, here comes the danger drone. Um, Alright, we're gonna have to... I think Chen has to activate skill. Yeah. He's got way too much health. Here comes the other drone. Okay, 340. Oh shit, Chen skill. Oh my god, I almost forgot. Uh, here comes Daddy. Thank you, Thorns. Alright. The last line. Actually, the second last line. Chen skill is going to be crucial here. いつでも指示をくれ。敵を死にした。そいつらを逃がすな。
Ah, they can reach all three of them. Just trying to delay the guy so that uh, shots would go into multiple. This is a bit of a waste. Yeah. Oh yes, they're coming together. Perfect. Now, the next threat is the one that comes this way to attack thorns. Oh, Jesus. Come on, Thorns. Oh my god. Protect her, protect her, protect her. Oh, sh damn it. Thorns, I need you to be attacking this guy. Good, stunned. That's good, that's what I want. The love of God, Thorns, hit this guy! <laughs> Thank you. <clears throat> Alright. 21 to go. <laughs> now, the reason why he's not attacking that guy is obviously units will prioritize the nearest to the exit and that guy walks around like this they do a tour and then exit it's it's actually one of the most annoying things about this stage I think we have no choice. Let's go, Chen. Oh god, that drone is going to wreck her. Switch targets. Oh no! Just not enough. I need this guy to move. I need him to move now so that the shots don't get wasted. Heal yourself, um, Ansel. Heal yourself, please. All right, he's moving. That's okay. All right, we got uh, six enemies to go. That's one, two, three. 
I don't remember what the rest are. Uh, I shouldn't have done that. This this drone is gonna leak. Who's he attacking? Shima. Silver Ash. Oh, Christ. Oh, she's back up. We survive. Come on, Thorns. Last one. And there we go. <laughs> now the only problem, that's not an auto. So I can't I can't auto it for the for the farm. But the rewards are still mine. No, this is a borrowed unit, you can't auto with a borrowed unit. Okay. Doctor, Genki ga ijanaika. Alright, where's perfumer? I don't think we have enough. Actually, we don't even have the, the chips or whatever. Although I have got the stamina, so I should go and get the chips. She needs one of those. That's annoying. Uh, yeah, it's super tanky. It's literally tanking everything. Doctor, Genki ga ii janai ka? Actually, we can go and check. Uh, this one. S tier defense. <laughs> I mean, look at it. And he stuns every third hit. On top of that. That's why you need two guys right in the middle to hold him in place. And you specifically need them to be right there because he zigzags. If you, um, if you, uh, what's it called? If you, uh, put them further back or further forward, he'll only be, uh, against one of your guys. So he's specifically there. He, he's boxed back and forth between the two. Yeah, enemies that have like every few hits they do X, usually a stun, they can be silenced. The same in the event. You can silence the dock workers from hitting their stun. Which is really good. Like if I was going to go all out on this account, I would have used uh the, the five star tickets as well. And I would have been very tempted to pick Lapland from in fact, I would have picked Lapland from uh, the five-star ticket because she's absolutely amazing on a new account. Her silence ability is so good. Uh, 
Uh, I would pick Spectre in a more established account, for sure. But if my goal was to beat this, like, to really go hard on this event, the Silence is just too good. I mean, it would really depend on what you pull, obviously. But with what I pulled, I think uh, Lapland Silence would make the biggest difference for the early chapters and for the event itself. But Spectre is, is better long term. Alright, we've got some stamina to burn. Let's get some medic tokens. Oh god, that was intense. Oh, I still can't believe we're down to one challenge stage left. One! My goal is to beat it within two weeks, ideally. And it looks like it's going to be doable. Uh, this stage is the uh, healer defender basic tokens. We're just trying to get three healer tokens. In hindsight, we shouldn't have traded the three healer before for two defender. I mean, instead you get stunned, which is much worse than silence. Yes, there is, there is a uh, effect worse than silence in an upcoming event. Just to let you know. It's worse than silence and stun combined. Even worse than that. Uh, no, I'm not. I don't have to kill. I haven't used to kill on my main account. I've built him on my alt account for his base ability. And I'm considering doing the same on my main account. He's good if you don't have Silver Ash. He's like a mini Silver Ash. But I've got Silver Ash on... Uh, funny enough, I've got Silver Ash on every account. I bought him with from recruitment on my main. Uh, not recruitment, uh, gold certificate store. Bought him from the gold certificate store. Got him on recruitment on my alts. Got him on recruitment on my China Chinese account. Uh, within about a month of playing, I think. So it's twice within a month. Silver Ash through recruitment. And in fact, my alt account just the other day uh, got a duplicate of him from recruitment. I uh, was trying to get Nightingale. And then on this one... Uh, we got him on the starter banner. Uh, Tequila's base skill, you need to combine it with uh, Firebeak and Shamir. You do that, you have the, the literal best uh, trade combo in the game. Thanks, Malavis. I, I definitely intend to keep streaming. Um, so, I'm thinking of things to do between events, so we can do things like account reviews and obviously 
you know, we've got um, pulls and things like that that we can do. Um, I'm also considering doing like one day a week, uh, like other tower defense games. So I would love to do, you know, Plants vs. Zombies for a bit of a throwback. Show you my favorite tower defense game, you know, uh, outside of Ark Knights, like my standard tower defense game. Uh, defense Grid. Uh, there's another one called Quantum something. An FPS tower defense game. I'd love to show those. Blue's tower defense, yes. Uh, never played Kingdom Rush, I don't think. It's called Quantum or is it called Spectrum? I don't remember. Uh, the first tower defense that I ever played, and this is maybe uh, crawling really far back, was this flash game called Defend the Castle or, D or Save the King or something like that. And it was thick figures. And you could... So on top of the castle, you could deploy archers, wizards. Wizards had like an ab ability to, to nuke enemies. The more wizards you had, the faster the recharge. Uh, the archers were really good at taking out weaker enemies. You could reinforce the door. All that sort of thing. Warcraft 3 Secret Stage. I'm pretty sure I did, but it's been so long that I don't remember it. In Plants for Zombies 2, I managed to go get it so that I had an unlimited run. An endless run that would never fail. And it went for so long that the phone would overheat because the, the screen gets completely crowded. And the frame rate is like one frame per second. It got to the point where the game, the game just couldn't run anymore. <laughs> I could perhaps also do some anime content as well. Since I uh, have seen an absolute truckload of it. But then I have to get back into watching anime, and I haven't done that since I started this channel. I need to find the time. <laughs> yeah, Balloon's Tower Defense is really fun. My favorite submarine I uh, uh, unit is the submarine. <laughs> I wish I could stream the Arknights anime, but. Uh, DMCA. Yeah. Uh, BTD battles? No, I don't think so. Uh, random, what kind of advice do you need? I probably have a lot of videos already covering it, but what kind of advice do you need? Uh, also, for anyone who wasn't here earlier, uh, I've finally got affiliate status, and I'm going to work on getting some emotes and all that added, and I'm going to make the, the stream look more professional. I've had a, a couple of uh, offers to help with. With that sort of thing, so hopefully the stream and the production, everything will look much nicer soon. Yeah, the watch long streams. I mean, I'm I'm amazed that those haven't been banned out, right? Uh, the characters to save for. I have a video called uh, "Next Six Months." of banners. You should watch that. A um, couple of banners have already happened, but it'll still tell you what to save up for. And as for leveling, uh, the best advice I have is on my YouTube channel, watch day one of this account and see what I do on the first day, what I level, how I decide my team and all that. 
You don't need to watch the full uh, 12 hours. Just uh, go in a little bit. And if you are like new, you like starting like right now. Start it. Make sure your new account has this character right here, uh, Chen. If uh, if your account is completely new, then yes. Okay, you, you got it. Okay, perfect. That's what you want to start with. How do you interact with operators in the base? Uh, every day at reset, anyone who's in the base will have. Um, uh, you can t you can tap on them to get trust, but there's there's a button to mass tap everyone, and then the people who are your base assistants, the ones that you've assigned in the operating center, they and the control center, sorry, they get a bonus tap every day. Uh, Johnny, what are you talking about? Are you replying to someone else? Right. I think I should swap. Yeah, I'm gonna swap. We don't need we don't need another defender, do we? I mean we do, but we don't. We do. We do, don't we? <laughs> Uh, you know the stream of watch where they watch literally copyrighted content? I find that really strange. Oh, that's not banned. Oh, wow. Now, for 10 hours, that must have been uh, over 100 rerolls. Yeah, Hoshi's still level one. I, there's no way we can afford to level Hoshi. If we level up another defender, it would probably... Honestly, I think it would probably just be um, Beagle, because it's cheap. Beagle, get her skill ready. Pop defense. Survive the hit. Uh, Toast and Pokemane only got banned because they streamed a Nickelodeon show, uh, Avatar The Last Airbender. And Nickelodeon specifically got them banned. Oh yeah, there's Soda on this account. Of course there's Soda. <laughs> um... Yeah, I think I think it's gonna. Have, if I add another defender, it's just gonna be Beagle, just to go full tank. It's all I. It's all I would need, and it's the cheapest option we've got. Uh, yeah, let me show you. So I was rolling, uh, so the main thing I needed was green certificates so that I could get to level two uh, green certificate store so I could buy the sugar, the blue sugar. And to do that, I needed green certificates. I had a bunch of rolls, I had about 40 or so rolls, uh, ended up using a bit of OP. And uh, so I ro rolled on the bagpipe passenger banner. And the plan was to go to about the first six star. Third pull got Serta. So we, you know, not enough green certificates, so I kept going. Then another 37 pulls and then got bagpipe. And enough green certificates to do what I needed. Yeah, this account is ridiculously lucky. And along the way, for those two, there was Elysium, one of the best five stars in the game, easy. Um, and one you can't get from the recruitment ticket. Magical. Maya, Estina, and Meteorite. Uh, if this was my main account, I would not keep rolling on the Passenger Banner. And in fact, I probably wouldn't have rolled on it at all to begin with. I would have saved for Thorns. Yeah, if I was intending to play this account long term, 
I would have saved for thoughts. Uh, thank you, said this guy. Uh, passenger is average after he gets the, the module on the buff, but he is amazing in integrated strategies too. The roguelike mode that's getting added. Yeah, he goes from, from worst 6-star to average 6-star uh, and the best in integrated strategies. Yes, average by 6-star standards. Um, yes, I think it's going to be Beagle if I need to... Uh, to level up another defender because beagle with her skill that's enough defense to, to tank it it's like a mini core yeah that's what i recommended in my should you pull video is if you're done with chen and you've got a decent number of pulls i'd pull to first six star and if you get Passenger, then buy Bagpipe with Gold Certificates. Um, if you get Bagpipe, well, then you save your Gold Certificates. Uh, he's so good in Integrated Strategies too because there's an item that makes it every hit from a caster gives 2 SP. And as a chain caster, every hit in the chain counts as 2 SP. And so he can spam his skill non-stop. And it's really long range, really wide AoE with a very powerful slow. Um, so the choice between thorns or uh, between thorns or Nurl, thorns is um, is a stronger operator. He's definitely a stronger operator. However, in six months, thorns you can get with gold certificates, and Nurl is limited. If you don't get uh, I said this guy, there's an item you get in Integrated Strategies that gives the SP. If you don't get a Nurl at release, very hard to get her later on because of the way limited operators work. So, if you really want both, you, you, you roll for Nurl and then you just save up and buy Thorns in six months with gold certificates. That's the thing. Nurl is in three months. So it would mean you just need to wait another three months to get thorns with gold certificates. The only other consideration is what other operators do you want to get with gold certificates as well? Um, if you also say you want to get Phantom and you want to get Suzu between now and then, that's a lot of gold certificates. Uh, how much time do you expect to have 300 rolls? Completely free to play? Six months gives you 300 rolls. The best thing about Nurl is that her second skill is unique. It bypasses the deployment limit. So you can deploy her even when your team is full. Like fully deployed. So no matter what, she'll always have have use because of that. Yeah, if you're if you're literally at zero right now, uh, if you're if you're literally at zero pulls right now and you want a sparkling, and you're free to play, you got to start saving now. Uh, did I do the swap? Huh? Uh, Thorns' banner was supposed to be the next special one, but there's Gaviol first. So Thorns is in about a month, I think. I, maybe a bit longer than that. Maybe five weeks, because his, he's tied to an event, and so you need the events to finish first before his will appear. So it might be five weeks from now. 
Um, if you want to guarantee, if you want the 300 pull guarantee, then you need to save. Uh, Nurl is hard to pull if you don't pull for her on her release banner. Doctor, Genki ga ee janai ka. Yeah, so if the way lim limited operators work, on release, they have a boosted chance of appearing. 35% instead of 25%, like a standard banner. And if you have three, if you do 300 pulls on the banner, you can guarantee them. If you don't get them on release, you have to wait for them to appear as like a off banner limited operator on another limited banner. And they have a 4% chance on a six star pull of, of, uh, of getting them. But that rate is so low that you need to save up 300 in order to guarantee. Oh no, I, the, the duck is the duck is the OP character. See the, the secret to my success, Chen's not the one doing the damage. Um, I had a conversation with Lowlight and he gave me some details on, you know, chapter 12 content. Chapter 12 story content. I'm just going to give uh, a little bit of a tease, but the duck is the mastermind behind everything. Hello, Quitting League. Welcome. Uh, random, generally, saving 300 to guarantee a limited is not really worth it. The The last time it was worth it was was for Chen, really, because, because of how powerful she is. I would rather roll on um, solo standard banners, you know, like Thorns solo, Gnosis when he releases, Mountain rerun. I'd rather roll on those because it's a 50% chance of getting them, so it's very high rate, and you don't need to do the massive save. Not worth 300 pulls at the cost of rolling for everything else. So, if the choice was spend 300 pulls on Nurl, or spend pulls on Thorns, Gnosis, and Mountain, I'd go for those three. If you're a newer player. Saving 300 pulls for a limited operator is only if you really want the character or if you're a more veteran player. Okay, uh, Perfuma. Right, she needs this. A guaranteed one from there. Let's do it. Uh, you get 24 free pulls on limited banners. Hi, Kara. Welcome. Yeah, sure. What's your question? Uh, Suzeran is is great, but if you've already got Angelina, she's not going to add as much to your roster as someone else. Yeah, the 24 pulls is all locked to the limited banner. And then you get usually like another 25 30 pulls on the side in a random and open all that yeah suzeran is really good she was uh, one of my starter characters but if you already have angelina and say say the choice is like 
you've got a choice between Suzu, Thorns, and uh, I don't know, Exia, or Suzu, Thorns, or Exia, then you can. Uh, I would put lower priority on Suzu. And then if you miss out on Suzu, there's also Gnosis who can do uh, a smaller, more regular version of what she does. Uh, that being in the support unit tab, how does one see skill three operators? I need certain skill three for me to clear. Oh, okay. Um, someone needs to have. So, so Cairo, the person on your the, the person with Serta on your friends list needs to have equipped skill three. So, whatever skills you see, that's what uh, that player has assigned. If you need a, uh, a skill three Serta and there's none on your friends list. And you can check by going to the friends section. You just look at the certers. Oh, hang on. Do you have an E2 operator? You, the What you can borrow is the same level as your highest promotion. Which usually will be Myrtle first. And that's a very good reason to rush Myrtle. Is that A, she's amazing. And B, you can now start borrowing E2 units. Uh, you, do you have an E2 operator in your in your squad? So you can only borrow the same level as your highest promotion in your squad. So if you don't have an E2 unit in your squad, you can't borrow E2 Serta, and skill three is uh, E2. So E2 in Myrtle is the is the simplest one. But you might want to instead consider somebody that uses the materials from the event. And because uh, four stars don't have the base, don't need all the base component uh, facilities in order to E2, you can do them much faster. Yeah, I mean, she pokes people out, people in the eye with her flag. All right. What are you going to get stuck on? A device. Actually, I think I... I think I might be able to make one. Do I have enough? Where is it? Oh, do I want to do that? Because uh, that's so difficult to get if I have to recollect it. No, I'm not going to. I'm going to go... Uh, Let's go here. Uh, Perfumer's module is better because of healing four units. The thing about Telopsis, the extra range is nice, and there are times when it really does make a difference because it can it can give you a really good formation. Uh, the only thing is, it doesn't affect her skill, and Telopsis's skill already has the extended range. So, uh, the Perfumer one is really nice. Yeah, it doesn't affect the skills, it's just the auto. But her skill, uh, Telopsis already has extended range on her skill. Uh, no, no, Telopsis is still way stronger. Telopsis is um, increased uh, skill recharge, 
the ability for her to heal your team through anything with her skill active is just so good. Hey, Cripper. Yep. Uh, I don't know when you last left, but we got a perfect 400-400 on Annihilation 3. We have one challenge stage to go in the event. And we just uh, promoted Perfume because we need the AoE healer for that final stage. And we may also need an extra defender. Oh, Perfumer, my Perfumer is E2 on, um, on my main account. She was one of my starter units. I love her. She's so, so good to use. And also, um, my first top operator was, uh, tag was, uh, Helga. So that helped. Uh, Cairo, to beat that stage, the secret, bring some defenders and borrow Ifrit. Put the defenders in the line and have Ifrit cook everyone. Uh, yes, Suzu's 40%. And Gnosis goes to 45%, I believe. Uh, right. Perfumer. Uh, God damn rocks. All right. Um, let's get it. This is fine. I can't be bothered sending a new one. I need two. There's somebody else that needed a bunch. I think it was Siege or something. I'm not going to farm more rocks after this. You know, he's bagpipe. I build bagpipe first. The plume is two block at E1. Once you promote her. Uh... 
No. I don't want that. It's not a great skill up anyway. Uh, they're not true AOE revolution. They're just AOE where they hit, not their entire attack range. Yes, it <coughs> especially us with the skill up. Mm. AoE casters are not true AoE. Because they're only AoE where they hit, not their entire attack range. <coughs> no, no, true AoE is when you hit everyone in your attack range, regardless. You know, like, uh... When Jutano has a skill activated or a spread shooter. Um, yeah, if we go to the store. Yes, no, that's what true, true AoE means. True AoE means hitting everything in range. Splash AoE is hitting a target and then everything around it. Am I day one? No. Uh, I've been playing for about six months. Beanstalk is amazing. Although the other day when I mentioned true AoE, someone uh, in the comments on the video got confused thinking I meant true damage in AoE. So it's, it's a term we probably should not use in Arknights because it comes from other games where um, <laughs> true damage is not a thing. Yes. Dusk skill 2, Jutano skill 2. That's true AoE. No, no, true damage is not a thing in other games that use the term true AoE. No, there's several true damages. Calcet does true damage. A Radiant Nail does true damage. Yeah, Cliffheart as well. Yep, Weedy too. Yeah, there's a few sources of true damage. It's very... Uh, very uh, good to be able to tap into true damage when you need it, which is why Calcid is so good. Right, so we can buy sugar from here for uh, Silver Ash, and then I think I'm going to have to... I'm going to end up dumping everything here into RMA.
The thing is, though, if I spend that limited currency, I'm just buying this outright, I can buy three. I can buy three outright. Uh, if it's a skin that was sold in a store, they always rerun. Uh, so far, there's never been no rerun. The ones that we're not sure about are login event skins. Now, ones that were given away for an event, those do rerun. Login event skins, you can't be certain. However, they do seem to put them in the contingency contract store. Eventually, so you can buy them. Well, Blue Poison and Bagpipe were released with Contingency Contract, but uh, there have been others. I think, I'm pretty sure the Melantha one, you know, the letters from Wayfair or whatever, that was a login skin, I think. Um, the Rainbow Six skins, they would only rerun if they reran the event. So if I, let me think what's more efficient. I can either buy six of these or I can buy three of these. If I buy six of these, then I can also buy two of these from the, the green certificate store. And that gives me all four that I need and two left over for Perfumer. And then I need one more RMA for somebody else's skill. I don't remember who. I think it might have been Ansel. And then I need a little bit of sugar. If they never rerun the Rainbow Six event again, they might still rerun the Liskarm and Schwartz skins. Because they're not, you know, they're not collab skins. They were just added for the event. That emote of that girl with, with hair that looks like hundreds and thousands, that is definitely my mood whenever I have Someone that needs sugar. Yeah, Cora needs three sugar as well. So I think I get more out of it if I buy six RMA than if I buy three white horse coal. Six RMA from there, two sugar from there, that's Silver Ash done. That's Perfumer skilled up. And then any extra sugar that I get can go into Cora, and any extra RMA can go into, I believe it's Ansel. So I think I'm gonna do that. Doctor. But I won't commit to it right away because Tomorrow we've got the next rotating contingency contract, and I might get one of those from from there. Ooh. I think that's going to be the end of the stream, to be honest. I am... It's 3.30 and I still need to eat. <laughs> oh, the stream has been going for nine hours. Oh my god. I need to redo... We're not going to redo this one. We're just going to redo this one. Actually, this one's also 18. No, this one's the simplest. 
I'm gonna redo this so that I can get some trust in some characters. Uh, right, Gummy needs trust. And... Spots at 30. But actually, I need Platinum for the stage. Alright, we'll replace Gravel. <sighs> yep, still streaming, Sai. Oh yes, switch the stickers. Uh, right. Uh, yes, I want the attack there. I want the defense there. Devices do nothing. Corrosion, corrosion, and... Uh, this one. Yeah, accomplished a lot today. Oh my god. Which does Korra need trust? A little bit more. I'll take all the tanking that I can get. Maybe I just don't need to bring Myrtle. Oh no, Myrtle can still do with some more. Yeah, I really do need to know when to take a break. It's a bad habit. I mean, I'm having too much fun hanging out with you guys and playing the game. Oh wait, hang on. I'm playing this like it's the uh, the boss stage. I totally forgot. Uh, wrong layout. Ooh, I may have put Chen down too early. Ah! I wasn't watching the right side. I was just watching Chen see if she would survive. I didn't pay attention at all. Oh, did I use mental skill while... The... <laughs> I mean, I've done that before with muscle memory. That's how you can tell it's getting really late. Uh, Kokodayu means I'm here. Well, I've arrived. Okay. 
ちらちゃん時間には限りがあるんだ私ならここに戦いだけに気を取られないで怪我してるよ Yeah, with platinum skill, I. It took like half a day for me to figure out、uh, what that noise was. I thought it was notifications from Twitch. Yes, I'll be getting Ulcer Cruise. I'll.、Uh, I'm not 100% sure if I can stream the release of.、Um, I need to know exactly when it's going to start. Because in Australia, it's Australia Day on Wednesday. If the event is on that day, then I won't be able to stream. If it's tomorrow night. If, if it's tomorrow night, then I can stream. Hang on, let me just load up Arknight CN and I'll figure it out. And the thing is, if it is Tuesday, I do, the, the event does reset. I mean, I suppose I could stream for like an hour before work. Because the reset for me is 7 a.m. So, if I just stream a little bit, we could do a few pulls or something. Try to get to Cruise, since it only takes five stages. I did see a maintenance notification earlier. Will I ever go to bed? <laughs> oh, God. Um, oh, yeah, that's the other thing I need to do. The, uh, uh, what's it called? Second half of, of the,、uh, the weekend stream is ready to go, but I need to do the timestamps, and that'll take too long to do right now, so that'll have to be tomorrow. Okay. CN notifications. All right, Google Translate.
Okay, uh... Right, what... Actually, does anybody in chat read Chinese? It'd be much easier if there was somebody who could read Chinese for me. Okay. Uh, any... Tangent, can you translate for me roughly what it says over here? See ya, Chef. Thanks for coming. Uh, next stream is likely to be for this event. I just need to figure out when it is. Right, so it's saying the maintenance is at 10 on the 25th. That means it's... In... Am I, am I right that for me it's going to be in three hours? Three and twenty three hours twenty minutes? That means the event opens up in the morning. Because for me I'm I because of my time zone, it's always uh I'm one day ahead of whenever the maintenance is for for global. But if this is China time like Beijing time, then I'm guessing that... Because for me, it's the 25th right now. This is at 10 a.m. My my reset is at 7. Actually, although, it if it's anything like global, they probably do the actual patch like... Um, uh, actually, I'll just look it up. Hang on. Uh, Beijing time now. All right, so it's... Almost 1 a.m. for Beijing. So in nine hours, the maintenance starts. Yeah, GMT, GMT plus eight. Yeah, so maintenance starts in nine hours. Six hours later, it's done. So in 15 hours. All right, so tomorrow evening then. Tomorrow evening, uh, after work, I will stream this event. Yes, so that's... Yeah, we've got it right. So this is a Beijing time. Yes, so in 15 hours, 20 minutes, the event opens. Now, for me, that is... Uh, what's that? 19... 7 o'clock? That's really convenient, actually. Okay. Yeah, so tomorrow after work, uh, 6.30, I suppose. So starting same time as today, I will, uh, I will stream the event. It'll be a, uh, a bit of a break from uh, the Solar Holiday challenge mode. And then I think we'll just finish, finish the Solar Holiday on, uh, on the weekend. Is it enemy mechanic news? Yeah, it's on on Reddit. Someone's translated. I'll read that. I'll read it tomorrow. to spend any over here there's nothing else I particularly need though and so for whoever inherits this account I really should clear out as much as possible Doctor, all right guys that's going to be it uh, I'm gonna buy the, the the event stuff exclusive stuff first 
for when there's a rerun because you can always farm the blue material somewhere else um but i think i will i will probably i don't know buy 10 20 of each just so they can get used just so they have a bit of something to begin with but yes that's going to be the stream i am absolutely exhausted went for twice as long as i then i want uh intended so we've been going for quite a while <laughs> um but i hope everyone had fun and i'll see you tomorrow same time for uh mama cruise and i'll do some pulls now my cn account is not stacked uh in in terms of pulls so hopefully uh I can get her in, I don't know, free 10? <laughs> we'll see. And I'd also really like to pull on the A of Thorns banner. I'm saving, uh, on, I don't, I'm saving, uh, holding off on buying, uh, Thorns with gold certificates just to see if I can pull one of those two from their banner. But I'd like to, uh, get Ling just so I've got, um, just so I've got uh, some content and I can show you what she's like. Uh, Black and Ice is uh, not the welfare, it's Mama Cruz is welfare, which is great because many people requested her. All right, everyone, see you tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Have fun. Good luck if you've still got some changes, uh, some challenges to go. And good luck with tomorrow's pulls. We'll be there for the daily. See you, everyone. Bye.